Uh, we perhaps live, live, fantastic. All right, let's continue with oxygen not included. We're in. Let's see. We've been pumping out a little bit of steel um, at a somewhat frustratingly slow pace so far. Uh, I did end up putting some oxygen in this room just so that... Uh, because we don't have enough heat to keep all of this water steam yet. Uh, and if there's vacuum, we're not exchanging temperature with the steam. Uh, so I put in a little bit of oxygen. Hopefully it won't cause too many problems. Maybe I'll have to filter it out a little bit later. But for now, Twisty P, Tumbling, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Rare of me to catch you early, indeed. How you doing? How are we doing? Um, so where are, where are we with this playthrough? We've got uh, two AETNs at opposite ends of the base. Cycling cold hydrogen, very, very cool. No pun intended. Uh, we've got this first attempt at kind of a two-way main bus for our fluids. Seems to be working pretty well so far. We've got a million fantastic operating cooking supply. No, no I don't think so. Oh, let's take a Shine Nymph, why not? That's actually a very slow lime factory. Uh, a wild Shine Nymph is. Um, but yeah, where was I? Kind of lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, we've got a whole lot of volcanoes to take advantage of. But before that happens, I need some goddamn steel. Which one should I exploit first? This one's copper. It's kind of close already, although it is trapped in heat land. It's a bit cumbersome to build around it at this stage. We have iron volcano up here. And I believe the other one was... Where was it? Uh, over here. They're both kind of... They're both kind of up and to one side of the base, on opposite sides. It's actually pretty convenient. I think I should go for iron first. Obviously iron is the stuff that we can turn into steel. So how much steel do we have? Z zero. Uh, did I already upgrade some of these things into steel? I did upgrade the liquid reservoir. Um, I think all of these either don't need a special material or... Yeah, this... The kiln doesn't have an overheat temp. The glass forge and the metal refineries are made out of ceramic... Um, and that just leaves the Rock Crusher. Andy, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The Rock Crusher's still made of gold amalgam. Um, I do recall building a little bit of, like, steel... Yeah, 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 steel, um, power cable here. Uh, because we have no atmosphere, or had no atmosphere... Um, the molten glass was actually coming all the way down here and melting the lead cable. Um, so, yeah. Can we sweep up all of this random crap? I need a place for crude oil to be dumped. Um, maybe I could make a little... Hmm, I don't know, actually. Uh, 
I don't really want to make a reservoir of crude oil up here, but at the same time, I don't really want to, like, take it all the way downstairs. Oh, was this made of steel? Gold amalgam. Overheat temperature is... 125. It's like 75 degrees here. Okay. Hey, we got our slickies. Isn't that nice? Okay. Doing good. How about you? Just going to uh, have a busy weekend as my 3D printer parts keep arriving. Ooh. So I guess it's time to build it, indeed. Um, I want to get a 3D printer and a little workshop and all kinds of things. Um... What should I work on right now? I'd really like to speed up steel. Why are we bottlenecked? Um, insufficient resources, iron. Does this take refined iron? It does. So we're trying to make iron. Um, no fabrications queued. Oh, is that why? Is that... We do have... Uh, crude oil in here, right? Yeah. At 200 degrees. Um, I just want to double check. Oh yeah, 200 degrees. That's, that's the temperature at which we're allowing it through here. That should be fine. So now... Output pipe full... Uh, maybe I should like... Put a bridge here or something so these can have a T-junction. Um, but yeah, I'd forgotten I put a finite limit on making iron here. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Gonna be a monster? A building monster? Alright, I need a place to put these damn crude oil barrels, because honestly, they're bothering me. Especially, I don't want, um... Uh, I don't want random debris on the weight plates in here, since we're using the weight plates to limit, um... Uh, limit our production automatically. Um, do I need some more storage thingies? Probably. What's this? Sweep only? What are we trying to sweep up here? Oh, they are sweeping the igneous rock and stuff. It's just not the uh, crude oil. Okay, that's perfect. How much crude oil are we talking here? 58.6 grams, 2.5 kilos, 7.6 kilos... 9.8 kilos. So, like, way less than one tile, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... I don't know. I don't have anything that's actually, like, actively consuming crude oil. So it's not easy to, like, just cycle it in, right? Uh, maybe I'll procrastinate that one a little bit. As long as the uh, crude oil containers are not sitting on the weight plates, I guess it's probably fine. Probably. Also, um, something I think I would do in future is have some temporary metal smelting area that's just away from the base somewhere um, in order to rush a bunch rush a bunch of steel what the hell uh, rush a bunch of steel 
because my last couple of bases, the first couple of tons or so of steel have been very, very slow. To say the least. How much lime do we have? Lime, 30 kilograms. How much is that? Uh, it's... It's like three... It's enough to make 300 steel. We're going to need to get some more lime. I mostly would like to get lime by just... Taking advantage of... Poker shell malts and stuff. completely forgot exactly what I was doing here. What kind of volcano is this? Regular one. Okay. And I want to use it for... What are you doing? Oh, is it... He... He's idle. Okay, I need to do some more make work. Um... Where should we do the make work? I want it to be Chipping away at something that I want done eventually, that's going to take a lot of work. Can they not reach over there? Okay. Oh, that's, that's going to let chlorine in. Do I care at this point? Probably. Um... Just... Just limit the amount of chlorine that comes into the base. I need some more digging orders. Um, could we do some more exploring? How about we gain access to some more poker shells? Maybe I should just dig through here. No, that's going to let a bunch of salt water fall through the base. Which is probably not that big a deal, but... We'll just do it like this for the moment. Oh, can they even reach that? I don't think so. Why did I do these metal tiles all the way up here? I'm pretty sure that was a mistake. Well, that's where some of our steel went. That's 600 right there. Um... I think I've got more pressing concerns than building these metal tiles because I really want to replace the rock crusher with one made out of steel. Um, so I don't have to remember to do anything else in here. There we go. Okay. I wonder if it's possible... I know animals can go wild even when they've been tame. And wild animals don't actually need to eat. Um, so I wonder if it would be possible to, like, breed a bunch of poker shells, for example, and then rewild them so that they don't have to be fed to produce some um, poker shell malts. Uh, pardon me, my voice is a bit... needs a bit of a warm-up. What are we printing? We have plastic. I'll definitely take that over anyone with less than three traits, uh, interests. And suddenly we have, I think, I think that, like, multiplied our plastic by six or something. 150 kilos just became 650. Fantastic. Okay.
Let's keep building around here. I still haven't decided whether I want this to be a steam room directly. No, no, no. I think I want to control the temperature of the steam. So... So we'll have a vacuum in here, I think. And we'll use metal tiles and a door to control the heat. That we let through to make steam. And then we can keep the steam below whatever temperature. Um, considering how close we are to a AETN, uh, I don't think we're going to have too many troubles cooling. So where should we build the steam turbine? How How high above it should it be? I'm thinking, at the very least, at the very least we would want a layer like that, so the dupes can get in if necessary. And... Let's say we have... Uh, I want to be able to exploit it for free material as well. When it cools. When it when it solidifies. So I guess I'll need... Uh, what? A steel airlock door? Well, if it's molten, I suppose... Uh, it, it, sorry, if it's, um... Yeah, if the temperature comes from a liquid and this is going to be a vacuum, I suppose the door could be made of anything, actually. As long as we keep it vacuum. So if this was, like, here and here... Well, I'd rather maybe have the entrance on the other side or something, since we need that much space. Or, come to think of it, we don't even need, like, a vacuum lock in between. Yeah, 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 we don't need a vacuum. Like, normally, to keep heat in somewhere, I would have vacuum in here... And therefore, I would need two airlock doors. But if this is going to be a vacuum, then it should be safe to have the airlock door wherever, wherever we'd like. So let's say we put it here. Um, we could have a... Auto sweeper, like here, to pick up the uh, solids once they are ready. And I think what we'll do, we'll have two things that bring stuff into the steam room. Um, so the steam room is going to be up here, I think. We're going to have a heat pump. It's going to be metal tiles. And then metal tiles. And then... Steam can go up that... What's this made of? Uh, ceramic. Okay. Not all of this is going to need to be ceramic. What's that made out of? Ceramic. Ceramic. Okay. Let's grab some cheaper insulated tile, appropriately enough made out of igneous rock. Um, so say this is our steam room up here. We've got a airlock door. Um, 
which is going to open and close. It doesn't actually have to be down the bot. No, it does because the f liquid drops to the floor. Okay. So I could do it something like this. Magma comes out, metal tile gets hot, um, but not hot enough to melt because it's made out of st That's lead. Don't make it out of lead. Metal tile out of steel. Melting point is... Uh, 2426 degrees. And what comes out here is... Way lower than that. It's like f like 700 degrees lower, almost. Okay, so we have hot magma. We have metal tiles that can absorb the heat. Uh, well, everything can absorb the heat, but this can absorb it faster. We'll have a vacuum in here, so airlock door isn't going to melt. Um, we'll have... Let's see. Just like that, maybe? There'll be a vacuum here when this is clo uh, open, right? So... Something like this? And here we'll have some water that'll turn into steam. Um, this will be the steam room. This will be where the steam turbines go. And we can still fit a auto sweeper here to take the hot stuff that's solidified, which I think will be... Uh, Igneous rock. Liquid magma becomes igneous rock at a mere 1400 degrees. So once it is igneous rock, um, I would like to... Bring it into the steam room. But only when the steam room is cooling down. So like we'll have we'll have a temperature sensor somewhere. Uh, I think we'll need two of them if we're going to have different settings. One temperature sensor says door open. If if steam reaches two hundred degrees in here, door opens, so we stop transferring heat up here. And if steam is below that temperature, door closes, which Let's the heat through. And I could, I suppose, have the exact same setting to allow... Oh, I just realized this thing is going to cook because it's in a vacuum. But luckily, it, we're not going to have to cool it very fast. We do have conduction panels. Um, so we could just run polluted water or something through there. That shouldn't be a problem. I'll need to expand our fluid bus all the way up here, but I don't think that's an issue. So far, so good. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Let's remove these for the moment. Start digging this out. Throw a ladder in here for now. And 
and I think that'll be it. So we can take heat. Uh, we can actually siphon off the heat at our own pace. Uh, even between eruptions. Although, with such a small bucket for the magma, if we're not consuming the heat fast enough... If we're not consuming the heat quickly enough, uh, we're going to waste some of it. I imagine we'll consume the heat quickly enough. Well, how much does it output? We haven't analyzed it, so we don't really know. I wish I could analyze it before letting it rip. I really do. Hmm... Well, a active period and average output aren't that important to calculate this, I guess. We're getting 288.3 kilograms per second for 63 seconds at a time. That is 18 tons. 18 tons of magma per eruption. Um, 63 seconds every 9.2 thousand seconds. That is lengthy and infrequent. So we're probably going to want a bigger buffer, right? Uh, 18,000 is like... Well, this is like 2 tons per tile. Okay. I think... Let me just do that math again. Make doubly sure. But I... Th yeah, no, no, that is 18... 18.16 uh, tons. So let's call it 20 tons. Um, so we need 10 tiles. That's not that big. We need like 10 tiles of... liquid magma here. Alright, so I should just make this a little bit longer. think. We don't actually have to worry about heat going through here or here uh, because of the vacuum that we're going to have. But I think Can I do this with, like, fewer metal tiles or something? Most likely. Okay, the metal tiles do need to be at the bottom. Because liquid. But after that... Maybe... No, I can't allow any gas. There needs to be a vacuum between... Oh, we can probably do it like this. Probably safer if I make that out of steel as well. Uh, we could probably do it like that. That's pretty neat, actually. Are the dupes going to be able to reach to build all this? Maybe. Well, there's no need to rush. But, yeah, I think... I think that is about what I want to do here. And we could probably do it with less, uh... Less metal tile as well. Just one metal tile here. Not made of lead. It's okay, I'm not gonna stick with this one. This is just a blueprint. Uh, metal tile here, and then door... And then metal tile here. And technically we don't need to make this as tall as we are, but I would like the dupes to be able to get in here as well. 
So I'll have an airlock door here. Seems good. Um, I think for now we'll just let them build like that. So they can reach everything. I hope. We'll definitely be able to have an auto sweeper pick up everything in this room. And I think I'll just put the auto sweeper on the same logic as uh, as the door opening and closing here. Or we might need a knot gate. Um, it's not the auto sweeper so much as it is a. Where is it? Where's that thingy that we use in shipping? Conveyor shut off. So we're going to, uh, instead of looking at the temperature of the hot solid that is on the conveyor belt, um, one, two, three, four. We could probably put it up here, even. Uh, we'll just have... We'll check the temperature of the steam in here. If it's below 200... We'll let some hot stuff through, whether it's heat from the liquid or dropping solids into this room. Or both. Hopefully it won't be too spiky that way. If it is, I might just have to have separate sensors. So, like, we drop down to 190 degree steam before we drop malt, uh, not molten, but rather hot, solid, uh, igneous rock into the steam room. Sounds good. In the meantime, I would definitely like to meet some more, uh, poker shells. Wild ones. That will give us... Poker shell malts. Without us bothering to do anything. Speaking of which... We still haven't built this? Really? What do we need? Like 400 I think it is. 400 steel. Uh, errands. Various current errand is building it. Fantastic. Perfect. Alright, so everything that makes lime do forever. I don't think I, I think I've double checked this before, but I'm pretty sure there's no other use for fossil that we want to save it for. No. I'm pretty sure same goes for everything that we can turn into lime. Alright. So do all of those forever. And we don't actually need any weight plate limiters uh, for the rock crusher. Cool, cool, cool. There goes some more of our coolant. I did briefly think of putting hydrogen in here last time because it's more heat conductive. And our crude oil would cool down a bit faster. But hydrogen always floats to the top. And steam turbines are going to be upset. If there's hydrogen. They're never going to suck in steam, basically. Uh, 
maybe we should adopt this poker shell before we, uh, before we activate the volcano. I don't think that would be terribly fair to have it take a magma bath. I don't think that would be the nice thing to do. So, what are we short on here? Waiting for materials. It's always iron for now. And iron is... We've got, like, practically infinite regular iron ore, right? Where's the searchy search? Iron ore. We have 44 tons. I think that's going to last until we're just getting free refined iron out of this. So we're just bottlenecked on coolant. Yeah, we're bottlenecked on our coolant loop here. Ironically, we need more heat um, before the crude oil in this system is going to cool down a lot faster. Hmm. What's the, uh... What is the thermal conductivity of steam? 0.184. Hydrogen gas is... 0.168. Wait, really? Hold on. Thermal conductivity, 0 0.168. 0 0.168. Point one eight four. Yeah, steam is actually even more thermal conductive than hydrogen. Now, if only we could get some in here. Hmm. How hot is this? Fifty four degrees, forty four. The water's only thirty eight. Uh, I'm gonna risk putting some more water in. And hopefully we don't flood anything. If we do, we can easily mop some of it up, actually. But I want to make sure all of these building... Preferably, I would like all of these buildings to be just touching some water. So we'll exchange heat with the water a lot faster. Come to think of it. Mm. I guess the crude oil would cool a lot faster if it was dunked in the water as well. Not to mention the water would flash to steam a lot faster. Let's do that. How about... something like this? And... Uh, I need some refined... Is lead okay here? We're not going to be reaching temperatures of 320... Actually, yes, we are. Well, the crude oil... How high are we going with the crude oil? Oh, 200 plus whatever this is. 117, so 317. Uh, that is cutting it a little bit close. I think I would prefer to make this pipe out of anything else, but what's this made out of? Iron. Maybe I should borrow that. I think I will. And then over here. So we'll stop the crude coming across this bridge. We'll let that empty naturally. And then we'll borrow the radiant pipes. 
uh, the metal. As soon as it lets this bit of oil through, we'll get a tile or two. How many do we need? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We need a little bit more iron. It's actually coming through right now. Uh, I'm going to cancel iron to steel for just a moment. There we go. There we go. Oh, I think we can definitely stop letting water through by now. Seems good. Um, so how much iron do we have lying around? Zero. Didn't we just finish a recipe? Yeah, we've got a hundred. Uh, I forgot, it subtracts, like, what you've already queued up, so it's hard to tell how much we'll have. Um, but I think... One, two, three, four, five, six, and we need eight, and that's fifty each. We should have just enough to make this pipe. Without making another recipe of it. Here we go. And... Go. So that is obviously going to exchange heat with the water much more quickly. And considering the oil is over 200 degrees, we'll soon get steam, which will make this part exchange heat quicker, but it doesn't even matter by now because it's already down to 145. This is a much better design. And I came up with it just by trying to slap together something that would work short term here. Alright, so we should be making iron and steel much more quickly now. Much, much more quickly. Maybe I should get the gas out of this room before... Before it flashes to steam. Um, we'll get the oxygen out. I'm actually, s it looks like I should be able to put this here, but no. Um, probably put this about here. Actually have a wire handy for that. That's extremely convenient. And then just spit it out up here. Let's get that vacuum back. Now that we've got our crude... Oh, the water's about to flash to steam. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. It's so close. We did just stop allowing recipes in here. Except for making lime, which we can probably ignore. What? Why are you idle? Okay, more make work then. Uh, I'm not exactly going to continue the main bus up past where the cool slush geyser is in the way. But we dig it down this way. I'm sure I'll want to do that eventually. I should probably queue up some building projects like this. Why? How is this unreachable? Are you kidding me? What? What? Oh, there's a bit of freaking sand in the way. Alright, what are we printing? Um, I guess it's sandstone. Do 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 do. Is that slime? It is slime. 
Oh no. Um Do we have a is it a buddy bud plant? Secretes a compound. Is this the one that throws out the, like, friendly germs? I really wish we had something to clean germs out of the atmosphere. I mean, we have chlorine, but that's not really what I had in mind. Hmm. It only takes, like, two tiles to end up with slime everywhere. Ooh, slime. Maybe I should start designing around this thing as well? Should I do... Probably the same design as what I'm going to do around the first volcano. Yeah. No, that should probably be exactly the standard. We'll end up with iron at like 190 to 200 degrees sitting in the steam room. Um, I guess instead of dropping the igneous rock in there, we could like... Well, how We'd have to have a cold room, is the thing. I don't really feel like bothering with that. Is it really such a bad thing if we have iron ore being picked up at, like, 190 degrees Celsius? Not when we get to the point where everyone's wearing spacesuits all the time. Okay. So we're gonna want ceramic and ceramic. And oh, that one actually should probably be ceramic. So, how's this gonna look? Oh, wait, didn't I widen this because because we don't want to block the output? Shouldn't I widen it more than that? Actually? Probably, yeah. Evil Plot, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Fantastic. Um, I think I'd like to make it like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven point nine kilograms a second. The 56 seconds is 442 tons. Uh, that seems like a lot. Am I miscalculating? No, no, surely. 7.8, 7.9 kilograms. That's, um, 790 grams not seventh yeah i think i added a zero so 44 tons over 56 seconds that still sounds like a crap load um 56 times 8 448 kilograms no, I definitely added a zero somewhere. 448 kilos. Um, presumably molten iron has about the same... I don't think we need to worry about how much space there'll be for molten iron. Cool, cool, cool. So we'll probably do the same thing over here, but like more compact. Um, make that out of ceramic. 
have a airlock door like here, in which case we should have a ladder down. So probably put this over here actually. If the airlock door is going to be there, then this should go here. And we need some ladder. May as well make it out of ceramic. It's quite cheap. Okay, so ceramic, uh, insulated tile like this, metal tile like this. Door here, metal tile up here. And then room goes up here for steam. Get all of that out of ceramic. We don't need to be that expensive. Is that the shape that I went with over here? Metal tile. Yeah, I could either go like metal tile, door, metal tile, or I could go like metal tile, door, metal tile. Either way is fine. Except I'll probably widen this for leaving more room for molten for magma. Okay, so we're not going to need as powerful uh, insulation over here. And a bunch of this up here. And probably go there. And steam room up here. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's just drop the priority on that because I don't particularly care when it gets done at the moment. I just want to make sure we don't have idle dupes. Alright, so this one's going to be about the same, right? 11 kilograms per second, 33 seconds every 5, 6, 45. That's quite different. 8 kilograms per second at 2526. Temperature's the same, but 11 kilograms a second. But only for 33 seconds, but much more frequently. Well, significantly more frequently. I still think just kind of mentally eyeballing the scale of it that we're not going to have to worry about running what running out of room for uh the that's not made out of ceramic let's fix that real quick Yeah, I don't think we're going to have to worry about running out of room for the Molten Iron. And... Let's say we have airlock there. Probably just do it like this. Something like that. Uh, maybe I should look at the properties of these. Slow heating, overheat temperature plus 15, overheat temperature plus 200. Decor plus 20%. Huh. Insulator. Can I, like, look up... Some stats. Let's see. 
specific heat capacity 0.84, thermal conductivity 0.62. Versus, okay, so, oops, 0 0.84, 0 0.62, I think it said. Specific heat capacity is much higher on the igneous rock. Thermal conductivity is much, 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 much higher. I think we care about that more. In this case. Oh, also the actual melting temperature since we're dealing with molten iron, but that's not the only thing. Oh, and I was going to drop the prio on all of this stuff. It's basically just so that they have something to do at this point. Are there poker shell malts in here? Well, there are going to be should probably make sure we can access them. Okay. How's our steel coming along? 15 kilograms, that's not a whole lot. Oh, did we get our... They still haven't bit... Yo, Rex up. Haven't seen you on a lot. I've been on a lot. Morbid Dragon, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I've just had to have a couple of days here or there where I had to cut back a little bit, unfortunately. Uh, how am I going to get them to reach these damn pipes and things? There really should be an upgrade to the dupe's reach in the research somewhere. Maybe just crash asleep before you stream, indeed. Um... I guess I'll decon the steel machine so we can put a lab... No, wait, 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 wait. Uh, we don't want to... We don't want to have the crude oil come out of the machine. Uh, what if I get rid of this kiln making refined carbon? And then we'll just put it back after the after the fact. We'll put a ladder there in the meantime. Hurry up before the whole place flashes to steam. You know what? Really, really hurry. Especially since it's getting to be night time. I think we've got enough refined carbon for a few minutes anyway. All the slowest possible dupes are coming in to help. Alright, there we go. So we suck out the oxygen. Uh, I'm just going to not let anyone in here until that's done. And then we'll decon this mess. And everything's going to be great. Cool, cool, cool. All of our slime is stored underwater. Fantastic. Except for the slime that's stored in the air. Creeping into the base. It's a little bit unfortunate. Do I really want to bring chlorine over here? Maybe. Oh yeah, I was going to dig through this. So we can fix this stuff up. 
I haven't actually been using this uh, compost for a minute. What is this? What what is this? Okay, we're down to the milligrams, or a bit more than one gram. Shouldn't be too much longer. Uh, we already went just from a thousand to three hundred just now. It will get a bit slower as we get closer. West Lee, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where in Australia are you? Uh, East Coast. A bit of a discussion with the girlfriend. Yeah, I don't think you're going to guess based on my accent or something because I've been asked where I'm from as if I came from another country. To steal a joke from, I think it's Jimmy Carr. This is just how words sound when they're pronounced properly. Alright, we're down to the single digit milligrams. Well, there's actually significantly less on the left than on the right here. Oh, because the center tile is, like, bottom left of the gas pump. I see. I see, I see. Actually, no, there is significantly less. Just in general on the left side. That's kind of weird. Oh, wait. I think I remember gases tend to sort of drift towards the right. I guess it's the rotation of the rock. Okay, thanks. No worries. Um, what are we missing here? Ceramic. We'll catch up on ceramic a bit. Oh, I haven't allowed them to collect ceramic, that's why. Because I'm not letting anyone in here until that gas is gone. Um, because I don't want them heating up the water to the point where it boils over. Because I want pure steam in this room. I really wish I'd thought of reshaping the pipes like this. I think I did and kind of dismissed it. But yeah, this is a much better idea. Um, as opposed to letting a bit of gas in so that this tile would exchange heat. should really look to the far corner for how close we are to emptying this. How can, how can we have like 28, 27, 26 micrograms in this corner and 60 in this corner? I know this one's further away, but that's a bit extreme. Oh, they're probably... they might get stuck if I'm not careful with that. Alright, here we go. Single digit micrograms in the far corner. This is down to two. I'm curious to see how this is going to look, actually, as it collapses into being a vacuum. Oh, look at that go. Yeah. There, there it is. Alright, now. Uh, decon all of this. And make it maximum priority. Bam. 
because I really don't want that to get ignored while we generate more heat and flash water to steam. Fantastic. Cool. Gold Amalgam, you do not belong here. Same goes for you, Copper Ore and Coal. And we should have another one of these here. Uh, is what I would say if they had removed the ladder yet. Um, but yeah, that also gives them access to the ceramic. What just dropped? I think it's on this tile. Uh, sandstone or something? What? Oh, there it is. It looked like it dropped to the left. Any printables? What do we got? Uh, I'll definitely take a couple of tons of gold. Unless... Ranching, building, suit wearing. Decreased machinery is okay. Decreased cuisine, increased food morale bonus is also okay. We could maybe go for this one. Then we've got Hassan. Cannot do doctoring. I don't love decreased germ resistance. Ranching, digging, farming. I think we'll go for one more builder. Why not? And that will be... I am Sark. And we'll give him some skills. Well, probably not a whole lot just yet, actually. Uh... It's actually, the only level one we've got is improved construction, so let's go with that. And it's going to be ranching and building, basically, for I am suck. Building, where's building? Ranching... And then supply storing, tidying, and that's pretty much it. Welcome aboard. And that is the last person in the backlog. It'll be a while on average before I bring in another dupe, but there's no longer a queue. Or... Deep names. Okay. Didn't really build any of this yet. This is okay. Do 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 do. Oh, what's that lime? That should definitely be here. I wonder why it was outside of the machine, though. Alright, so this one is refined carbon. Yes. Water down here is at 93... All the way down to 88 degrees. I'm surprised it doesn't equalize faster. I definitely don't want Igneous Rock reporting that we've got steel. Are we not sweeping this? We are sweeping this. Okay. Maybe I should make some kind of... I, I don't want to use water locks, but maybe I should make some kind of mechanical vacuum airlock thing that lets them through faster. 
I have tried designing that, though. With the stuff that you're given in vanilla, it's not great. Um, basically, it would involve uh, at least a few mechanical airlocks. And we would need duplicate checkpoints. And unfortunately, the checkpoints need to be two tiles away from the doors. Otherwise, the doors will open for the dupes. The doors don't have the functionality whereby... They prevent the dupes from being allowed to go through them with automation. They only shut or don't shut. Zakaluka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You know what actually works much better than expected? Just two mechanical airlocks with a pump between them. Uh, that'd work well, except that I would have to filter the gas that gets sucked in by the pump. And I just don't want to... Like, pumps... Uh, sorry, filters in this game consume a lot more power than I would like, and they take up three tiles in a line. Um, I, I just wish we had better miniaturization options, to be honest. What? What is this? Are you kidding me? How did you... How did you even get here? Did you climb through here and then build tiles? Sigma bean. There's plenty of oxygen here as well. What are you doing? Maybe I should just dig out the insulated tile here. There is not a lot of oxygen in this room. Who's coming? I believe that is the hat of being awesome at digging. Cavern. Yes, it is. All right. Fantastic. Uh, Sigma being, please don't die. This is actually terrifyingly close. Jesus Christ. Well, that was needlessly alarming. I swear to God, if we lost a dupe to that. Oh, the iron volcano wants to erupt. Okay. How much, uh, lime do we have? A hundred kilos. That's like... That's ten... That's a thousand steel. That's good. What about stuff that turns into lime, I wonder? Probably nothing, judging by this. F? Oh, you're kidding. Is that what that... Is that what that sound was just now? Paid attention to one, the other one had to go. Where even was it? I'm not... I'm not accepting that. That is too fucking... Look at this. It's a piece of sand. It's a piece of sand where I told them to dig. They should automatically, like, mark that for digging. That is so fucking stupid. How far back are we going? Seventeen oh nine. We're going back like six minutes. I feel like it should be entirely implicit by default. Never mind that there should be an option to do that. If I tell you to dig a tunnel and some sand drops where I tell you to dig the tunnel, dig the sand away. This shouldn't need to be said. Okay, let's make sure they're going to have a path out of there. Drop the prayer on this one as well, so that they can climb through that. Let's 
Saru. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And of course they do things in the exact order that gets them stuck. I shouldn't have to stare at every construction job that I queue up. What happened? Suicide by digging? See this piece of sand? That presumably was here before? And I told them to dig this? Uh, someone evidently walked to the left side of this and then built this. And then stayed in here until they died of suffocation. Because apparently... It doesn't go without saying that if I tell you to dig here and a piece of sand falls in the way, you should dig that out as well. It's practically like just... It's almost like random number generator just kills your dupes occasionally. It's on the same level. I swear it must be coded that way, it's unreal how they consistently do redundant movements. Then go like, oh yeah, closest job proximity is a thing. And proceed to box themselves in, indeed. Is there a Boovim dupe? Uh, yes. Yes, there is. Here he is. Not getting caught by sand. Welcome back, Boovim. Not Steel Mage, good to see you again as well. Tubes need a lot of babysitting. Yeah, it's really obnoxious. Combined with how long it takes for anything to get done construction project-wise, the, there's, I've said this before, but there's far too much time involved in just staring at a build project in this game. It's like the opposite of being able to put down a blueprint and know that your bots will get it done eventually. Especially combined with, if I put down something for automation like this thermo sensor, I have to wait till it's physically been built to give it settings. That goes for air filters as well, gas filters. So more often than not, depending on what the defaults are like, you're going to be like spewing gas through the wrong uh, through the wrong filter if you had to pay attention to anything else before this got built speaking of things that I had to wait until they get done before I give it settings the smoothness of building stuff in Factorio made it hard for me to come back to this game indeed it's a fun game though I mean, there's stuff that you you can only do here, as far as I know. Okay. Why is this mar not marked for digging? How much steel do we have? Still nothing. It's always nothing. There's never any goddamn steel. What? Oh, oh, that's my fault this time. I forgot I disabled it. Alright, this should be a lot faster than it was before. And we'll soon be getting steam in this room, which will store an enormous amount of heat before we actually need to build a steam turbine here. And I'm realizing that for the hundredth time we're going to need to remove something so that we can build a little step stool here, just so the dupes can reach up here to make some pipe. Luckily it's relatively easy to swap out a kiln. Oh, 
We already have 200 kilograms of steel all of us, and there's our steam. Nice. That means that means our oil coolant is going to flow even faster. Now, we have plastic, so we have no excuse not to make steam turbines. There's never any reason... Uh, actually, there might be. Deprecated steam turbine. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Uh, what was I saying? I was going to say there's never a reason to build a steam turbine out of not lead. If you've got lead. But... I'm struggling to remember it, but there might have been a reason somewhere. But yeah, since the steam turbine won't actually work if the machine itself goes above 100 degrees. I definitely don't have to worry about lead uh, melting. The thermal mass, etc. of it might be an issue, though. Might matter for something. Let's see. Thermal conductivity is actually huge. 35. Specific heat capacity is extremely low, I think. 1.28. Let's compare it to steel. 0.128 and 35. That's a lot more specific heat capacity, and it's more conductive. I guess it's really only the specific heat capacity we would care about here. Iron solid. 0.449. Yeah. For other buildings, yeah, don't use lead. Well, it depends, but yeah. They have that plus 1000 C overheat temp. No reason I'm aware of not to use lead. I can't imagine it would really matter that the specific, uh, that the thermal mass, specific heat capacity of the steam turbine is going to matter all that much. Should I make a couple? I don't think we need a couple. I'll leave room for a couple just in case. So let's say we do this one here. Actually, if there is a middle, which there is, 13, 11, 12, 12. Okay, so it's right here. I think I would like to put this output in the middle. That's where the cooler water is going to come out. Actually, maybe I should put it so the water will come down here if we're going to have any water that's not flashed to steam. Having it land where the uh, radiant liquid pipe is to cool down the crude oil makes a lot of sense. So I might just put this over here. And then steam turbine. We want to start here, I think. Feels weird that we've already got enough steel to make a turbine out of it. Uh, when it rains, it pours. And I'll remove this. Because I might, I might want to put another one here, but I doubt it. Okay. Uh, I think I want the steam turbine to only work when the temperature of the steam has gone all the way to 200. We should be able to get away with lead for this. Uh, 
lead. Melts at 327. Yeah, that's that's a lot for steam. Also, look at what's happening over here. It's because the rock crusher is cooler. There's actually still a vacuum in this space because the steam falls to water. Um, now we're going to need some... Should I do some radiant pipe? It would cool the steam turbine ever so slightly, even if we use active cooling as well. If we use active cooling, I think, with liquid, I think I would have it come through here, perhaps? So... What if... Lead pipe like that. If we had another one next to it... And we had the lead pipe like that, then... Oh. Right. There's not enough... There's not as, as much vertical clearance as I thought there was. Uh, is that even a problem? Dilka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think I do want to leave room for active liquid cooling to come through here. So... Let's suppose that looked something like this, or this. Beebly? Beebly O, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Fractal Nebula, welcome, welcome also. New, new, new base, indeed. What should I call it? The main bus base? The, the fluid bus base? Can I have my cake and eat it too, to some extent, with active and passive cooling? I think as long as we have a small number of steam turbines, the answer is yes, because... How much water does it output? Uh... I don't think we have access to the math right here. But if I recall correctly, we can have five steam turbines, and it'll they'll output through one pipe without having problems. However, with the way pipes work, if we did it like this, uh, we would actually block the output of this one with this one, even if the packets coming through here are very small. Liquids in oxygen not included are like that, but we can get around it with this. That shouldn't actually be a problem. So that'll kind of prioritize the steam engine on the left, uh, but I think it'll merge? No, actually I think that's wrong. I think that is wrong. Two kilograms a second. I think that would be five steam turbines, yeah. I have been messing around with that for a while. You can only passive cool until 136C. Yes. Uh, I just wanted to put in some passive that leaves room for active cooling uh, if we need that or when we do that later. They output 5 kilogram packs, they will merge. That bridge was fine, was it actually? Hmm. I kinda... Well, if I leave a tile above them, this won't be a problem at all. Once again, I wish we had longer bridges. I saw a mod for that, maybe I should have picked it up. Like, just having a... Just having a double bridge, uh, jump over two tiles, would be absolutely amazing. 
There's also the option to have some bridges in uh, the coolant loop, like the active coolant loop. That might actually make it easier. Let's say our active cooling loop that we add later goes like this. And we could have our passive cooling like this. And I think that's probably going to be fine, actually. Have some insulated pipe through here. That's radiant. Yes. I might make a mod like that so it looks nicer, indeed. I wish we had a longer bridges mod that does not stretch the texture. Oh, yuck. Definitely. Yeah, I think this is it. I think I'm happy with that. So we leave room for... We, we don't get as much passive cooling as we would. Because um, we're not running the pipe all the way through like that. But we leave room to add an active cooling loop coming through later on. Which should be more than we need. It is going to let a bunch of heat out here, up through here, if we don't insulate it, though. For a cool replacement for that airlock mod would be move this here mod as you can make liquid locks very easily. I don't like liquid locks. Like, they're, they're too goofy. You know, they don't make sense. I know technically they're just better, but like... That's, that's the reason I'm not making them, not because I don't know how. They kind of do. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have the dupes go through the steam room. So I'll probably just put this here. Turn this into insulated tiles. If we followed our usual pattern, this would be our ceiling, but that's not going to line up, unfortunately. I don't think we need room above the steam turbines. Liquids don't just float vertically, indeed. Like in my toilet. What? Okay. So I think we'll do it something like this. And I could put some hydrogen in there just to make it more thermally conductive. But we're going to bring in active cooling here eventually anyway. So I think for the moment, we'll just leave some oxygen in there. It's probably fine. We'll do a airlock. And a heavy rock conductive joint plate. Connect that to the main power network. Uh, borrow this, I guess. And connect like so. So the passive cooling is temporary. Um, otherwise, I would be putting hydrogen in, uh, and I would be making sure the steam doesn't get to, like, 200 degrees. But this'll do for now. Let's build the airlock last. That rock crusher is having a weird one still? Rock crusher? This one? Oh yeah, yeah. Because it's still below 100 degrees. Oh, look at that. We've got like purple steam over here with this mod. It just illustrates the different uh, temperatures, I suppose. But if we look through the materials overlay gas, you can see it's all just steam. Oh, speaking of which, there's no water down here. Uh, 
That really does look strange. Kind of like it. It's not going to last much longer, but... Well, I guess this is 800 steel. That's probably how you would calculate how much thermal mass this has. Steel, solid... Uh, 0.49 DTUs per gram. So 800,000 times 0 0.49. 392,000 DTUs of specific heat capacity that Rock Crusher has, if my math is right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I was going to have... You know, we can't even reach it at the moment. Uh, I think I would like to put it here. Because I don't want to have to, like, deconstruct this over and over. Let's just decon the glass forge. Put a ladder in here. I'll build, but I won't be using the automation wire for now. And... I won't actually build this bit and this bit, because it'll default to red. Well, I could just... connect it to the thermosensor and set the thermosensor to something stupid. So it's always going to output green. I think I will do that. That way, all we have to change when we get our active cooling in is don't turn the steam turbines on until this reaches 200 degrees. Fantastic. What did I mark for deconstruction? I thought it was the glass forge. Okay. Fantastic. Shmua, thank you very much for the eight months with Prime. Thank you so much for spending your Prime on humble little me. Much appreciated, thank you. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I was just trying to find a... Uh... setting on this uh... mic mute program that I have. Transmitter mode push to talk. Oh, I think I see what's happening here. No, that's not working. Okay. Yeah, I really need to find a way to set up push to talk as well. Got enough of these barking dogs. Have they still not deconned this? Did I cancel it? I remember hearing construction noises. What? What just happened? Okay, we're gonna decon the glass forge. 
Then we're going to put in temporary ladder number 600,000. Then we're going to build our pipe and automation stuff. Then we're going to have to decon the ladder. Maybe I should look for that mod right now. There has to be a mod for Oni that just makes the dupes reach further, right? Workshop. Reach? Uh, what is, what is this? The duplicate reach around. Interesting name, but that seems to be... A small mod that increases the reach of duplicants in all directions. Reach a chore placed one tile further away than usual in all directions, as long as the chore is not obstructed. Uh, yes. Shut up and take my subscribed click. A thousand percent. I'll just let him finish this first, and then we'll see if that doesn't uh, mess up our game somehow. Alright, above zero degrees? Sure. There's vacuum in here again, what the hell? Wait, what? Why do we have vacuum in here again? That is so strange. Did all of the heat get absorbed by this rock crusher? I thought I saw it at 80 degrees before. Okay, but first, uh, I'm going to save this real quick. Should only take a minute. Uh, do I need to quick to desktop or just the main menu? Probably desktop, right? Version update, the duplicate reach round. Install the duplicate reach round. Okay. Let's try it. Let's try it. Decon that, and... This says unreachable. Or is it going to say unreachable, but it's actually reachable? You need to enable the mod, then restart. Oh, okay. As in restart the whole game? Mods. There we go. That's more what I was expecting. Is it going to restart the whole thing? Yes. All right, I'm just going to grab a drink real quick. Damn, that wasn't long. All right, it should say there's a mud mismatch, no? It's so dark I'm scared. Be not afraid. Save game mods differ from currently active mods, not disabled reach round. Perfect. Let's see. Looks like it's working. Fantastic. No more deconstructing things and putting in ladders just for this. Refinement, glass forge, ceramic, go. Here, hold my tentacle? What? Glass for... 
Glass furnace was main heat, uh, heat source. Let's see. The ceramic here is at 88 degrees. Um, 400 kilograms. And it has how much? Oh, I think it was like 800 kilograms, actually. A uh, specific heat capacity of 0.84. So maybe... Maybe by deconning that we sucked enough heat out of the out of the room, sort of. Like we dropped it on the floor where there's a vacuum. Um, as long as we keep making steel and iron, it should keep pumping heat into this water, which will flash to steam. Which will share heat across the entire room again, which will flash some of this water to steam. Seems good. How much steel do we have? Ooh, a thousand. Nice. Uh, it all seems to be working. I don't want that disabled by automation grid. Why are we... Oh, because it's a vacuum. Interesting. It says, it, it thinks it's negative 273 degrees because it's a vacuum. Have you heard about my Lord Cthulhu? Yes, indeed. That was oddly wholesome. Wait, which? Alright, I think that is our metal refinery room uh, finally sorted out properly. Now we have more than two steel, so we can actually start... How did you get hurt? This duplicant? This is not a duplicant. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed. This duplicant sustained injuries that are a bit uncomfortable. Critics minus three. What happened? I'm kind of... Oh, it's fine now. Protecting an egg. Maybe it fought someone. But wouldn't they just run, a, uh, run away? In any case, uh, I would really like to set up... a power plant here. D-Hex was comforting... Fractal Nebula in the darkness, indeed. Okay. I could obviously kill two birds with one stone by getting iron first, but... This one's closer. And I kind of want to test the idea here. I think I think we'll move this ladder out of the way. I definitely want this to be wider. Um, 288.3 times 63 is 18.2 thousand. Uh, which is probably 10 tiles of magma. So if we have 10 tiles, that's 12 actually. But having a little bit of magma up here might block it. I think I'd like 10 tiles on the floor, so all the way over here, which means this would be where we put this. So, something like this. Uh, I don't think all of that needs to be made of ceramic, though. This should be where the metal tile is, so as long as that is ceramic, it should be okay, right? 
Will those critters get fried? I'm gonna move them. I I'm not gonna let them get fried. It is a bit of a pain setting up poker shell harvesting. Uh, ranching, I mean. Because we want to move the eggs to a different room so that the... Well, I was going to say when the dupes come in to... To take the poker shell malt, they don't get attacked. The poker shells are friendly, except for when they've got eggs to defend, then they're very aggressive. Oh no, not again. Are you kidding me? Good thing it's Boovim. Very fast digging. I made a mistake in my colony? How so? Will those critters get fried? No, we're good. Okay. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, so poker shells are friendly unless there's a poker shell egg nearby. Then they'll attack. Um, we could use auto sweepers to take uh, like poker shell malt away from the poker shells. But the ranch is still going to have to go in there to groom the poker shells. If not to feed them, um, we could probably organize automatic feeding with uh, with the shipping system. But we'd still have to have the dupes go in there occasionally. So we want to take the eggs away from the adults uh, and have a crèche where we're only we're only going to have the little ones. And auto wrangle the rest. Unfortunately, that still results in dupes getting attacked sometimes because when the babies grow up, they'll like protect the eggs that are in there. That's what 500 critter do, I guess. I added an infinite critter farm. Oh no. Rip FPS. So, I still haven't solved uh, poke shell ranching. Let's get this thing built now. Actually, are they going to be okay? No, I'll wait till that ladder's built. Otherwise, the dupes will solve or get themselves stuck and killed. Look at him just always going below this thing instead of above. Absolutely ridiculous. How much steel do we have? Still a thousand. Uh, I'm a little concerned by the fact we haven't... Did I put the wrong recipe here? I did. That was supposed to be iron order iron. Fantastic. we can't fully automate the metal refineries and such. Oh, here's some steam. And once again, much hotter on the left. And drops to not steam on the right. Why is this still here? We don't need that anymore, that's for sure. Oh. 
Uh, where were we? Okay, I think it is now safe to tell the dupes to build this and they won't suicide themselves. And we'll want to remove all of this, actually. It's going to be a bit tricky to build this with the ordering. So we want steel airlock. Maybe it doesn't need to be steel. It probably should be. This will be a steel tile. We're going to have... Steel... Conductive wire. Which might be a little bit unnecessary, but I don't want to risk it. Well, if I run it all the way up here... Okay. I'm, I'm thinking about if something goes wrong and the dupes have to do maintenance. So if I do, like, steel metal tile here and here, and then... I have some ladders here, maybe. But I'll probably end up putting... How hot does lead go? Lead solid, 327 degrees. That's way hotter than this room's gonna get. You know what, let's just not risk it. I, I can be a little bit more patient for like another hundred steel or so. So we'll run our conductive cable through there. Getting a lot of hydrogen up here now. Tempted to just let it into space or something. Alright. So this is ceramic, right? Yes. And we know this tile is never going to have magma because it comes out here. And we can probably get away with some regular ladders down this way. Oh, where am I going to fit? Okay, if we have an auto sweeper here. Uh, it can't actually reach every tile now. But I'm pretty sure this is always going to be magma on this side. So that would go there. Conveyor rail goes through here. Um, I'm just doing a quick draft. It's, this is not the final materials. And it's not going to cool down at all until it gets in here. We're not going to check the temperature. Yeah, no, no, no. We're not going to check the temperature of this hot solid that we're bringing through. Um, instead, we're just going to... Have a shut off right about here. If I do put this in the the vacuum, we'll have to have another conduction panel, which is no big deal to keep that from getting too hot. Just like this. Do we need to have a 
Uh, what is it? Do we need to have a conveyor loader before? I think we do, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to have auto sweeper. It could be made out of lead, because the magma's not coming up here. There's going to be no gas in the room. Um, so this is going to go here. We're going to have a conveyor loader maybe here. Let's just put it like this. Conveyor rail. We can't make that out of lead. We don't need to make it out of the old iron. Oh, wait. We have to consider the melting point because the molten magma, magma turns to igneous rock at 1409. Uh, whatever we use here... I don't know if it'll actually get that hot, but I'd rather not risk it. It will be gaining heat from the solid material. So yeah, make this out of steel. Uh, make this out of steel, that's 400. And then we need room for a conveyor shutoff, which doesn't actually fit if I do it like this. I can't remember if... Um, if it was this tile or this tile that counts to cool down the conveyor loader. I remember some weirdness with that when we were doing it in space. Conducting panel, is that a mod? That's really convenient. It's actually vanilla. They added it pretty recently. If it works in a vacuum, yeah. It's obviously not going to be the most conductive. Uh, but it does indeed let us cool these things in a vacuum. Very, very handy. Actually, let me do it like this. Maybe. Can I do it like that? Ignoring the fact that this is made of lead right now. If we had our coolant come in like th that's that's backward, isn't it? Uh, if we had our coolant come in this way... And then... we actually can do it like that. That's gonna be a good fit, I think. So then we've got our conveyor loader, we just need conveyor shutoff. Right about there. And we should then be able to have our... Dependent on the temperature in this room, we let hot solids in, or we don't, just like we do with letting the temperature from the hot fluid in. Fantastic. Alright. Now, if only I could plan all of this out with steel, uh, but in a way where I could, like, temporarily mark all of this as, don't do that, actually. Also, where do I want to ranch the, um... Where do I want to ranch our poker shells? Strange rain continues. Steam's only 117 degrees here. Oh. Wait, really? I thought it had to be 125 degrees. What? Was there, like, a fraction of a tile that was 125? What is going on here? That is definitely not 125 degrees, and yet here we are. That is really bizarre. Okay. Well, I don't need to see this notification in any case. 
Uh, how hot is it in here? 50... 64 degrees. 78. Uh, we might have to cool this sooner than I th realized. Well... Um, as long as we're not gaining heat too quickly in here, it'll still work with the self-cooling. Oh, that is actually gaining heat shockingly quickly. What the hell? Uh, okay, I think we need to, um, hurry up with that coolant loop. Um... Which I am not prepared for. We've got some cold polluted water making the rounds because we're getting cold polluted water from up here. But that is not comparable to the kind of like rate of cooling that we're going to need for this. Where do I want to put our active cooling? place. Maybe like here. I guess I could put an active cooler in this room. Not sure how I feel about that. Do these work if they're not on the ground? No, they don't. I don't think we have enough unoccupied space anyway. Maybe over here. Hmm. I guess I could disable the steam turbines for now. But I, I get the feeling we're going to gain heat in this room... Even though this is still raining over here, uh, I have a feeling the average temperature in the room is going to run away from us a bit faster than I thought. We are making steel a lot faster than I expected, though. So that's good. Speaking of which... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're going to need... Uh... We're going to need automation wire to touch this. I'm going to make that out of steel as well. You could fit an aqua over the kiln. need to move the sensor, though. It does have to be grounded, though, as it turns out. All right, I think I'll just run the automation wire through the same spot. That's so cool. Okay. Uh, where would I want to put my active cooling area? Probably on the left, like probably just above this somewhere. Will the magma turn into tiles or chunks? Oh, I forgot. Uh, both. The answer is both. So we're going to need a... Robo Miner in here as well. But... I don't think that's going to be a problem. We can just put this directly over. It's not going to be in the way of the uh, auto sweeper. It's got more range. We can put it over here. Um, but yeah, sometimes the magma turns into an actual tile, which is not what we want. But yeah, that's, that's a minor issue, thankfully. We don't have to redesign. Now we've got two poker shells stuck down here. Make the sensor above 135 to stop the steam turbine until 135 is self-cooling. Steam turbine doesn't get damaged. Uh, well, it doesn't get damaged. 
Is it over 100C and heat deletion is better than doing nothing? But we can store a lot of heat in here, is the thing. Uh, not as much as... Not as over the top as I've gone in the past, but if you have, like, a decent sized room uh, with close to the maximum amount of water to flash to steam so that it won't block the vent output uh, at a pressure of 1,000 kilograms. Um, 1,000 kilograms? That's a lot. Uh, but yeah, if you have a significant amount of water in here uh, to flash that to steam, it's actually a lot of heat energy. Um, we've got plenty of room to add more water into this. Um, to basically increase its thermal mass. Mervil, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So where do I want to put this? Um, that can be moved if I like. But the main thing is... I need to have three tiles above two tiles at the very least. I think I would prefer the steam room to be at least three tiles high for a few reasons. For one thing, so that I can put in Thermo Aqua Tuners, maybe like this, and then have bridges, uh, I think like this, if we're going left to right. So we have input, lower priority input, output, lower priority output. So the bridge is the lower priority. Uh, if the thermo aqua tuner is inactive, fluid can flow past it. If the thermo tuner is active, that's the higher priority for both input and output. Uh, although we don't need space, uh, we can do that. We can do that with uh, insulated tiles there. Did have a problem there. It get out of control and damaged the machines in the room. Oh, we've built these hardy. So the glass forge um, is made out of ceramic. So are the metal refineries. The kilns don't actually matter. Um, we can make them out of steel, but even if we just make them out of copper or something, uh, they don't have an overheat temp, so they would have to literally melt for this to be a problem. Um, the liquid shutoff and everything else that does have an overheat temperature, if we're not able to make it out of ceramic, we've made it out of steel. Uh, so we can go up to 275 degrees in here before we ha actually have a problem. Fantastic. I'm not seeing a way I can put my steam room here without it being messy, though. What if uh, what if we expand this over this way and we have a steam room here and that's for active cooling, but then I want it to be connected to the main bus for the polluted water. No, I think I want to build it like here. It's just that this thing's kind of in the way. The shape of this room is throwing off my nice, neat design. Hmm. I mean, I could actually make this a steam room. What's this made out of? Lead. But it can go to 300-something. Shouldn't be a problem. No, uh, I'd rather this go off the main bus, go through here. How about we build it on the right side? Uh, 
It's such a pain building, like, early on. Trying to build everything to a final plan, but there's always stuff in the way. Maybe down here? That's going to be harder with the spaghetti. I also don't want too much heat around here. If you melt the kiln, it just melts into refined metal, which is nice. It actually melts into refined metal? That makes sense, actually. That's kind of funny. What are we printing? Uh, Probably... Oh, look at the little dracklet. We've got enough dracklets. Uh, let's go for pinch of pepper seed. And I've actually got a few empty spaces over here, although I did want all of this to be duplicate living quarters. Okay, I think this is the place. I don't know why I built these kilns here, but they can go. Um, I'm gonna have to let that chlorine through. It's gonna be a little bit of a mess for a while. Do we want it? Oops. Never mind. We're gonna want some insulated tiles. How much ceramic do we have? Uh, all of it, I think. Yeah, we've stopped because we've got enough ceramic. Quite cheap, isn't it? 100 kilo cl clay plus 25 kilo coal makes 100 kilo ceramic. We can get clay from deodorizers, actually. Huh. Now that's handy. Maybe I should put some deodorizers up here. How would I separate the polluted oxygen from oxygen, though? Also, is this ever going to have a problem emitting because there's too much gas in here? Oh my god, there's seven kilograms per tile. Um, um, uh, so in the base we've got like less than one kilogram per tile. Yeah, I didn't think of that before. We're gonna have to deal with the gas that comes from the polluted water here. Polluted oxygen has the same weight as oxygen, right? Otherwise we wouldn't get those weird random layers. Polluted oxygen. Uh, it doesn't actually tell us, like, the weight. Which would be good to know. Airflow tile deodorizer? Call it a day? I already do have an airflow tile here, but it's not doing anything because this has a liquid tile. Uh, and despite appearances, it won't actually let anything through there. Could just vent it into space. Hmm. I mean, I could just put a whole lot of deodorizers between here and getting back into the base. Same as oxygen doesn't separate nicely. Yeah, that's the problem. Hmm. I wish we had something like a carbon skimmer whereby the filter is built in and free for this, but, like, I, I would like it to gulp up oxygen only. Or polluted oxygen. Do you have any puffs flying around in your base? I think so. Where would I find them? Oh, there's... that's not a puffed. That, that's a gas filter. 
Good talk. Uh, there's a puffed over here. Turns polluted oxygen into slime. I don't really want slime. I guess I could make a contraption that opens and closes doors based on detecting oxygen or detecting polluted, uh, no polluted oxygen for a number of seconds. That might actually be the way to go. Let's see. Seeing one on mealworm? That'll be clean slime. Clean slime? You could release that and that prince would take care of it. What was that big building the puffed was hanging around? Oh, this is the hermit's building. We have we have quests uh, to have him join us. Okay, so what's this construction? contraption gonna look like. Um, suppose we have... I, once it's done I could maybe turn these into like airflow tiles or just get rid of them. We're gonna have a bunch of deodorizers. Deodorizers can be really aggressive, right? Like, as far as I'm aware, they can uh, turn, like, any amount of polluted oxygen into oxygen, depending on the density. And then we could have some kind of some kind of release for the oxygen. How fast does a manual airlock close? Like, I, I think we can use autom- oh no, we can't. We can't use automation with a manual airlock. Okay then. Uh, that's right, I think if you use a, uh, a mechanized airlock, it will open and close without power, it's just slower. So maybe... Put this here. Oh, huh. okay. Hermits in vanilla as well, indeed. And maybe we make sure we power it. Oh, right. We need to power the de deodorizers anyway. How much is on this wire right now? Only 600 watts. Uh, and deodorizer is only... Is only what? 5 watts? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Plus 60, I think it is. 120. So another 150. That's not even worth thinking about. So my idea is basically we put a ladder here as well. Build this. We'll replace this manual airlock. Uh, we'll let the hydrogen out just by reverse gravity. Could make a two tile tunnel with a pump at the end. The polluted O2 can't get past a couple of deodorizers. I hope not. Um, but I was thinking we'd just have a gas element sensor. And it's going to look for 
oxygen. And it'll open if there's oxygen. Simple as that. I don't need to make that out of steel. Don't don't be that wasteful. But we should probably make the door last. Wait, what are we making the door out of? Iron, that's fine. So this is actually going to be a huge source of oxygen as well. What? Are you trapped already? Honestly. I think I'm going to have to just dig this out, actually. That is impressively bad. They, they are just incredibly creative in the ways that they get themselves killed. Okay, now it should be impossible. Ceiling collapse, you don't say. What are you doing? Idle, idling in the hydrogen. Seems good. Seems like the place to idle. Also, weren't you digging a second ago? Evil Pla, honestly. I can't tell you to move here? Oh, for f Who's coming to do this? You are way too far away. What's, what's this material? Granite? You can't hop down this tiny little gap, literally, to save yourself. I see how it is. Can't take you anywhere. Alright, so... Dig this out first. We'll worry about the door after that's been built. Let's make sure, I don't see why they would, but make sure the dupes don't go through this door. Until we're ready. What's our temp in here? 139, 140. This rock crusher is always chillin' for some reason. Uh, whatever the case. Alright, where are we going to put our new steam room? Right about here somewhere. Why can't I put this here? Seriously? Not put it there because gas pipes. Um, can I can I do this actually? Yeah, I can. No, that's that's fine. All right, we'll do the same thing over here. Um, might have to move this. Plain old wire. And maybe 
just bring this down here. And then we'll need a vacuum. And some insulation. And I kind of want to move those shine bugs somehow. I'd rather they not die arbitrarily. Just prioritizing those because uh, people are going to come up here to do one dig at a time until there's a bit more of a path here. Probably should have just left this out of the way until we're finished. Damsel, good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. BBT Hex. With the airlock door mod, why do you need two airlock doors? To prevent heat transfer, exactly. So as you can see, I've got a vacuum here. Um... So, zero heat gets transferred from here to here. Obviously, a tiny amount of heat gets transferred across our insulated tiles. Um, but unless you're going to do an island in a vacuum, uh, you're not going to do better than that. Alright. Almost there. Managing the dupes is like herding cats, it really is. How's the base doing? Not too bad. I finally made the right little improvement to my uh, initial... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like initial metal crafting area. We had water down here, so I just made it so that the crude oil would go through there. So while we still had vacuum in here, uh, that way it was able to transfer the heat much more quickly. Uh, and now we're making steel light a hell of a lot faster. In fact, so fast that it's really, really urgent that I make an active cooling thing for the base. Uh, mostly just for these steam engines here, because... The temperature in this room is going up a bit quicker. We do only have like 28, 25 kilograms of steam per tile. We can go up to a thousand, well, a bit shy of a thousand before it's a problem because the water output from the steam turbines wouldn't be able to come back out. So I could buy as much time as I need by just pouring more water in here. Um, in fact, there's a bunch of water down on the floor. Um, so it's actually going to take, especially if I pour more water in, it's going to take a long time before this gets up to like 200, I think. That's the theory anyway. This is going to have to be insulated. Here's my uh, volcano taming build that I stole from Damsel somewhat. So Molten is going to go here. It's going to touch this metal tile. Metal tile is going to warm up. Mechanized airlock is going to open and close to allow or disallow to transfer through here and up here we're going to have a steam room um, I'm also going to have a auto sweeper picking up the bits of uh, molten that become solid uh, igneous rock and just like we do with allowing the heat through here conditionally we're going to allow the hot solids to go into this room uh, depending on the temperature in this room. 
So that way we can basically just store and slowly consume the heat to keep this steam at 200 degrees to make the most of it. I also, uh, I forgot to worry about this, but I do happen to have room for a robo miner um, to pick up any, the occasional tile that turns into a block instead of a piece of debris. Uh, this is going to be vacuum, so we don't have to worry too much about the temperature of the machines up here, but I think I'll make them out of steel just to be safe. And I'm going to use uh, conduction panels to cool all the machines that are going to have to be on the ceiling here. But yeah, that's going to be our, our first main power plant. And I have left room to make it more extendable. We could have like, maybe like seven or ten steam turbines along here. In theory. I don't think we'll need that many. How's this build coming? Slow as hell? Fantastic. Uh, I forgot I would need... Wire bridge like so, actually. Should probably just replace this with conductive wire already. And maybe I should have built the airlock doors last. So that we don't have to have to have the dupes slowly going through them while we build all this stuff. Oh, I don't actually want them to build that yet. How's this build looking? It is getting there. Hurry up with this stuff. Let me just check where that lines up. Mechanized airlock. Um, is the automation connection point always the same as the wire connection point? I think so. On the door, I mean. In any case, I want these built... Uh, first. There we go. That's what I want to see. Good job, I am suck. No, don't go back. Just because there's no oxygen. Alright. Here comes Evil Plow just effortlessly finishing the job that would have taken I am suck like five minutes. Um, so what do I want to set this to? I want it to detect oxygen. Breathable gas oxygen. And... That's not actually going to happen at first. Should I pump this hydrogen away somewhere? I could just get rid of it. Like, we do have infinite hydrogen. We actually need hydrogen generators uh, specifically to consume the hydrogen, not so much to get power. I could vent it into space, if it's enough of a pain. I think before I open this door, I should probably have this one built and closed. Hmm. I 
the dupes can breathe this, so... Yeah, I think I'll do that. Well, I really need them to supply this piece of wire first, is the thing. Unless... I could just temporarily build some wire around here. Yeah, or just not even make it temporary, just don't worry about it. You know what, just, just prior nine everything. I want to see it done. We've got so much free oxygen here waiting to explode into the base. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope everything's going well. Pretty well, yeah. How much plastic do we have left? 550. So that can make two and, uh, two and a bit uh, steam turbines. I think we'll focus on this first. Also, how much does that little, little plastic pump cost? Alternatively, I could do what I did before. We'll use the modded air pump. Gas wall pump. We'll put it here. Uh, and just build a tile up here. So we can swap it diagonally to empty this out. We'll power that when we're ready. Speaking of which, let's grab some oxygen. Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to need some more Atmo suits. Shouldn't be an issue at the moment. Fantastic. May as well line that up to get powered so I don't have to worry about it later. How's this thing? Oh, it's finished. Nice. Alright, so now we can finally build this door. And... The thing is, I want a dupe on this side. This is the one time I actually want a dupe to be uh, trapped inside when they build this door. Because I want this to shut until it detects oxygen. Um, except I'll have to fudge that because we've got hydrogen stuck up here. Uh, I could just make it detect hydrogen. I think we'll do that for the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. And then I want someone to open this door. After that's built. Seems good. This is also going to be our clay factory. So we're never going to have to worry about running out of that. Infinite ceramic go. Alright. Open the door. And... 
That is just instantly getting turned into oxygen. So we've still got a little... Oh, there it goes. I'm just going to say we've got a little bit of hydrogen left in here. When it dances past the sensor for more than a few ticks, the door should open again and hopefully it'll escape. Let's make it a bit more visible. Gas display. I don't know how long it takes... Uh... What had what the what the is this is this an electron? It just teleported. Open? Yep, yeah, no ah. Oh. Open no. Open, yes. Fantastic. Now we can set this thing to oxygen. And I probably could have done that already, actually. Uh, I kind of want to swap this to being a regular tile, of course. Which might be a bit tricky at this point. What is that? Water wheat seed. Okay. So basically we're going to open this door whenever oxygen is detected here. And we've got... Multiple kilograms of oxygen per tile up here. Uh, I was going to say there'd be several kilograms per tile down here, but no, it's already spread out that much. Uh, but yeah, here we go. This should be oxygen explosion. Is it going to squish the hydrogen up this way more, or what? Oh, it's... It's not exactly exploding out, but I guess some of it's going to make its way down here. Which is the main thing. I think it's working. It's working a lot more slowly and less dramatically than I was expecting, but that's okay. Good job, I am suck. Can I not place this? There we go. Fantastic. Now we're getting somewhere. And now we have an oxygen generator right at the top of the base. So this whole area is going to get a lot more breathable. If we have so much clear oxygen and hydrogen, it should create water. Uh, how would it change state, though? Cool. Um... That's actually easier than I thought it would be to make sure that no polluted oxygen gets out. Midden, thank you very much for the seven months with Prime. Thank you so much. And a welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Only after you make it explode. Yes. Alright, and there's our clay as well. Fantastic. Make the ladder hallway wider? Do you mean the main bus or somewhere else? Yeah, you mean this part for the gas. I'm very confused by this game, but it looks interesting indeed. Yeah, the deodorizers are actually extremely aggressive. That polluted oxygen is not going anywhere. Fantastic. And that means we're now getting a bunch of oxygen from up here. Cool. On to the next project. Actually, they still haven't even done this much. Unreachable. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, there's your problem. 
Yeah, you don't need to be using the Atmo, Atmo suits here just yet. That makes sense. Okay. So this is going to be our main uh, active calling room for the base. We're going to run... Uh, we're going to want to run the polluted water through here. as soon as that bit's done. What a tease. So here and here are going to be our modded airlocks. Uh, we're going to have a critter drop off here for... It's going to have to be made of steel. Uh, for any, shall we say, excess critters. Sadly, this is about as humane a way of managing population as we are able to automate in this game. Let's just try not to think about it anymore. Cooking, digging, researching... Uh, don't care about bladder. Increased medicine. Suit wearing, ranching, doctoring. And increased agriculture. Decreased medicine? God damn it. I think we'll just take the ice. And. Let's keep. Digging this out. We'll just deal with the chlorine afterwards, I guess. How much chlorine do I have here? Less than one kilogram per tile. I could definitely pump more of it in here. But then I have to mess around with filters and everything. I wish filters didn't take three tiles and 120 watts. And a whole lot of mucking about. Do we not... Make... Oh. There's not that much oxygen here. Taking its sweet time filling that up. It usually does, actually. I wish we could herd, uh... Tufts more easily. Just bring him down here to eat up the chlorine. That's looking good, though. It's looking very good. Uh, let's look at how much is here. Almost... Uh, it fluctuates like crazy, but let's say 17, 1800 grams of gas in this tile. 1900. Down here we've got like 800. I think we should widen this, actually. I imagine it'll sort itself out eventually, but I'm a little impatient here. Oh, 
Also, if I mop this up, there'll actually be one more tile for the gas to move through here. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so steam turbines. They're going to need active cooling. I mean, that's why we're building this. Uh, how much steel do we have? 1785. That's pretty good. But a single thermo aqua tuna is a massive, massive chunk of it. Do I want to leave more space for something else? What else would I put in the steam room? I don't think I'm going to use thermo regulators. We've already got two AETNs uh, cooling our hydrogen practically for free. I mean, I could... No. Nah. We're doing active cooling, we're paying a lot of power to get significantly more cooling. And if we're going to bother with that, then usually we'd be skipping the thermoregulators. Usually. What else would I possibly want to put here? I've already got the critter drop off, which is going to be lower priority than any other critter drop-off. Um, and basically the surplus is going to be delivered here. I'm not going to set it up just yet. And then we have our... Uh, whatchamacallsums. Thermo aqua tuners, and I can't really think of anything else. Unless I wanted to dump stuff in here so it would be a mere 200 degrees or less, but I could do that at any steam room. Or just somewhere else entirely. Or dump it in the water. That's got a massive, well, yes, a massive thermal mass. This is true. Uh, if I dump something in the water to cool it off, it's going to get... the heat energy is going to be spread out. It's also going to get cooled off relatively quickly. Why do we have this sporadic polluted water? Because I didn't fix this yet. That's why. Um, but now I've gone and forgotten slash broken the prioritization of water coming from up here. I don't think that's really a problem, though. Okay. So... I might just leave room for a couple of tiles there before I do the first one. Uh, if it does turn out, I'm not going to put anything else in here. This is fine. If it does... Uh, uh, you know, I could put a Thermo Aqua Tuna here. I doubt we're going to need that many. Alright, so we're going to have... Insulated Tile. Like this. And like this. Liquid Bridge. Like this, and like this, and so on. I think I'll do... Well, I need to have the polluted water loop turn in here. It's not like a usual... Yeah, just like here, we need to have the loop actually make a, make a turn, as opposed to something like this, where we're just supplying it. So I'm going to need to change the shape of this. 
Um, it would be preferable if... If output was on the top and input was down the bottom, just because of the shape of this. Well, if this is input, this is output. That's the really convenient shape of things. Uh, how am I going to do that? Let's see. Just get rid of this bridge. Well, I, I, I'd like to stick to the pattern of we have bridges like this. So that it's easy to bring other fluids through. Uh, I could maybe... If I did, like, output this way, and then... This goes here, right? Input this way. And then just adjust from there. That's probably fine, actually. And then I get rid of this piece of pipe once that's built. Should probably... Well, some of it should be uh, insulated. Certainly once it gets into the steam room. If not before. The input would be when the liquid is warmer. Well, it's not going to get that hot. And we do want the base to be at a certain temperature. I think this is maybe fine. You know what, I'll, I'll just build it with regular pipe and then we'll make adjustments um, as necessary. But once it's actually in the steam room, it's definitely going to be insulated. And once it gets past that uh, vacuum that we're using to keep the heat in, seems good. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay. Um, big old power. It's gonna connect like this. Actually, I should probably just have it go along the ground to start with. Are you gonna use the thermo sensor with the aqua tuners? Yes. Absolutely. Basically, we're just going to say if the temperature of... Oh, wait. If I'm going to have an indefinite line of aqua tuners here, if we assume that the polluted water could get hotter than expected... Then I'm going to need room for a sensor here. Alright, so I think it's under plumbing. Liquid pipe thermo sensor right before it goes into the machine. And then automation wire, like that. Uh, and we're basically just going to check that, assuming no loss in temperature, as in gain, actually, um, we're 
We're just going to make sure we don't freeze the water, is what I'm trying to say. That should go up here, actually. Seems good. And then insulated pipe all the way back, I think. Second thought. Is that going to be a problem for the steam turbines? Kind of. We want to have this kind of setup if we can. I can do a bridge there. I, I can do a bridge there. I don't think that's going to be a problem. And we'll just do liquid vent uh, like here, why not? Uh, why don't we do a pair of liquid vents? Because I can't put it here. Uh, you'd put it here. Kind of made that a little bit awkward for myself. How about this? Move them over a little bit. And then we'll have bridge, bridge. And bridge. Seems good. You need that space for the next pipe thermo sensor? Okay, yes, that's better. Yes, indeed. Got him. Alright, so bridges... Why is it taking so long to build these bridges? Uh, this way, this way, and this way. That should be alright. That should be just fine. And then don't forget these bridges here. Not difficult to understand, but once we actually put it there, visually it's a total mess and completely impossible to follow. Also, I'm not sure if you're making sensors slash automation wires with correct element? Correct element? This is going to be a temperature sensor. Oh, you mean this? Out of lead? We're never going to go above 200 degrees for this steam. So, that won't be a problem. Not much above 200 anyway. Adriox, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and we can also tell the steam turbines not to bother unless until the steam below them is 200 degrees. Beautiful. How much plastic do we have left? Only a hundred. It's gonna take a while for our one glossy draco. Oh, two. Two glossy dracos. Um, to catch up. But it's not that big of a deal. How's our temperature in here? 142. Oh, there's no more water down here? Yeah, there's no more water. If I want to buy more time, I'll have to pump some more water in, but we've got 89 
out of a thousand or almost a thousand kilograms of steam per tile. Uh, we've got plenty of room to add more thermal mass in here. Plenty of room. Um, normally this would go here. I'll just leave that for now. We're not going to use the steam turbines until I vacuum this. You know what, I think I'll just build, um, how big is this? 96. I think I'll just build a ranch or two over here. Uh, and maybe we'll move it at some point. Because I'd really like to get those poker shells rescued. I also want a pip farm. But we need like two rooms for the poker shells. I was going to do them here and here, perhaps. I'm a little sad about removing this arbor tree that the pips planted. But they'll replant eventually. In fact, now that I think of it, if we preserve natural tiles and drop arbor seeds in a room where we put pips... Uh, couldn't we get them to plant arbor trees that we don't have to feed polluted water? Ooh, lime. Everyone else has only two interests. Lime, sooner or later, will be our main bottleneck for steel. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Halt, halt and Z. Uh... We don't need to be running the Thermo Aqua Tuna just yet. But... Let's keep the polluted water looping until we do. Oh, that, that part's probably fine, actually. Fantastic. Actually, could I just... How about temperature below... Negative 273. There we go. That's going to be red all the time. Next, this here. Water flows past the aqua tuna. And now we can figure out... What are you doing? Oh. Now we can figure out what our loop will look like. Is this it? I think it might be. enough. Cool, cool, cool. Should probably sweep this away. Might take a minute. hold off on my temptation to place the airlock door until they've swept all that. What 
about up here? We've only got a hundred plastic, so I can't really build any more steam turbines right now. If I use copy, I can plant them at least. Oh, the pip's outside. Oh, too late. Too late. What's this salt water? Um, I need somewhere to dump salt water. Just to avoid leaving that lying around. How about here? I think that was 96 tiles. Fantastic. Oh, it's so nice knowing I don't have to build ladders to make this happen. Very cool. Do another critter drop off. And we're gonna need not a shearing station, but a feedy thing. Let's see. Critter feeder. And I think it's polluted dirt or something that the poker shells eat. Yeah, literally polluted dirt and rock pile. Cheesy Freeze, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are we producing polluted dirt, though? I think we need the Paku. We've actually got zero polluted dirt. Um, what have I got that's consuming polluted dirt? Oh, right. Composted it. Do I have anything making polluted dirt though? I think uh I think the water sea have, right? I think the water sea have makes polluted dirt when Yes, yes it does. So we should have a steady supply of polluted dirt, even if only a bit. Compost indeed. Oh, I forgot I had this as well. Okay. Let's Unfortunately, there's no automation that I can connect to composting, or at least not directly. I could, you know, make it so that uh, oops don't have access to the room. I could see them getting locked in, though, if I did that. I guess I could have a, a one-way door as well that they're allowed to use. But yeah, we actually want to allow some polluted dirt to accumulate. Um, because we want poker shells to eat it. Critter, poker shell, and poker shell spawn. Auto wrangle surplus. Max is I don't know how many before they start getting cranky. This one's cramped. How many Drekos have we got? Actually, uh, I might just I might just say we only want glossy Drekos now. Except I need to enable this thing first, which means I need... Uh, that means I need to seal the room, which means dupes are going to waste some time going through these doors, but there's nothing for it. Manky Kitty, good to see you again. 
welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Cheesy Freeze, welcome also. Thanks for the chill stream. Watching you play as I work. I also love the game and learning about it as others play. Fantastic. Uh, I would like to say you've come to the right place. Although, I'm hardly the most knowledgeable about oxygen not included. So we'll learn it together, I guess. Alright, so... Once we've got that other critter drop-off configured to accept everything, or at least just Drekos, uh, and we're not going to auto-wrangle any surplus. Are you stuck? No, you're not actually stuck, right? Please show me that you can leave the room at least. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, so I think we'll start vacuuming this room. No, I should really put some insulated tiles here first. We may expand it later on, but this will be more than enough for a while at least. Build, build, build. Fantastic. And we've got so many idlers this playthrough. It's not like Evil Pla can't do digging. Oh, right, this is too heavy to dig. Okay. Also, he's trapped, is what I'm realizing. Uh, can we maybe do something about that? Good job, Kevin. No, not that one. What a tease. There we go. Fantastic. And suddenly we've got globs of water up here. Oh wait, I just realized. I could... I don't even have to move anything. This lines up perfectly. I could make this a... Um... A pip farm. Nice. Just leave that tree where it is. As long as we don't have too many pips in here. Wait, 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 don't, don't, even though it's copper, don't dig out the natural tiles. We'll maybe get another tree or two in here. And I wonder if we could... Make a storage for Arbor Acorns. Oh yeah, I forgot I was going to do salt water drop off. Fantastic. What are those trees good for? Uh, if you want to farm pips, the pips eat wood directly off the trees, uh, but not like lumber that's on the ground. So I actually need to set it up so that... Oh, it's already set up this way. So that we don't harvest it. And natural plants uh, don't actually need the same stuff to survive as... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Domesticated plants. So we don't have to feed this polluted water to survive. 
So if we can get the pips to plant another arbor acorn seed or two in this room, we'll be doing well. Philip B, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can recreate the dirt tiles to give more space for pips to plant in. It's a bit of a faff as you have to melt sand debris and it pops to a dirt tile. Hmm. That sounds a little bit challenging <laughs> to pull off in this room. Uh, but good idea otherwise. Yeah, just casually bring some molten... Wait, was it melt sand? Doesn't that make glass? Sand debris and it pops to a dirt tile. So it has to specifically be debris sand. Alright, let's put... Uh, seed. There it is. Arbor acorn. Got it. Someone will hopefully be bringing that soon. Good job, Morpheus. We have one seed. And then we're just gonna decon that. And as long as we don't have anywhere that we're automatically hoovering up these seeds to, which I don't think we do, uh, it should stay in the room. Operating, building, suit wearing, Ritter reversion, slow learner. Increased excavation. I think we'll just take the food. Speaking of which, I haven't paid as much attention as I should have to food, but I did make a bunch more meal wood uh, since I added another dupe. So it's probably fine for now. Speaking of... Um... I do almost have everything set up so that we can do a bunch of... Uh, bristle blossom farming. I'd rather have a more reliable power source first. Morpheus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, I tried very hard indeed. Good work it. Slightly cheesy way of doing it. Don't know if they fixed it though. You know, for how difficult that sounds, I wouldn't even call it cheesy. It's their fault for making plants, like, uh, not require resources if they're, if they're wild. Alright, we're going to need a critter drop off here. This one's actually ready to go. Uh, I already configured it. Do we have polluted... Polluted dirt... Yeah, we have 100 kilograms. Not sure how much that is. Let's see. Uh, let me just look real quick. It doesn't tell us here how much they need. Does it? No. Well, let's try wrangling them. Oh no, the deconstruct door tiles method of making dirt tiles? Deconstruct door. Interesting. That does sound cheesy. So we can definitely support like, I forget how many, like one or two or three pips of the one arbitrary. Especially since it's never going to fail to grow because we, you know, don't give it enough polluted water. Is this room ready now? Almost. Uh, what am I missing? Just a grooming station, I think. And we don't need a feeder. For the pips.
What about this room? Ooh, we're ready. Alright. Suck, 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 suck. Fantastic. Gonna take a while for that little pump to remove everything from this room. Um, but it's the easiest to, like, swap out once we're done. Speaking of which, we don't need this here. There we go. Critter, Pippa, and Auto Wrangle Surplus. And let's wrangle the Pip so that he doesn't have to die in a pool of magma. Seems like a good idea to me. There are no Arbor Acorns here, are there? I don't think so. Wait, why is it... What temperature are we at here? 36 degrees. That's probably a bit much. It actually says it's okay up to 40 degrees. Is it gas pressure? 150 grams to 1000? Why was this Arbor Tree flickering... On and off of being able to grow. Here we go. Pressure. 136 grams. It's it's CO2 on the ground. It's a little bit of CO2. Hmm. Uh, that's water and that is nothing. This is this is exactly where I put a carbon skimmer before. So this this should be easy. If we put a carbon skimmer next to it, whenever the CO2 comes too close to it, we'll send it back to hell where it belongs. And it's already going to be configured properly. Fantastic. There's no power, though. How much power is on this wire? 480. That's fine. Alright. So when the CO2 is foolish enough to wander over here, we'll get rid of it. Uh, and that should get rid of those little pockets of low pressure. I hope. Unless the chlorine is also low pressure. No. No, there's like 300 grams of chlorine. Cool, cool, cool. When are we going to wrangle these guys? Here we go. No. Whose job is it? Requires learned skill. Sloder. Let's see. Skills. Uh, critter ranching one. No one has critter ranching two. And Sloder can't really afford it with his morale. Uh, does anyone have. Here we go. Sigma bean. Doesn't really have the morale to spare. Our morale is not very good right now. Um, which critter ranching skill do we need? For either of these. Does it tell us? Pending wrangle. Here we go. Dupes with critter ranching one. Dupes with... Critter Ranching 1. Okay, cool. I wonder what dupe needs, uh, what uh, Critter needs Wrangling 2.
And we want to set these to priority 9. Not just so it actually gets done, but also this needs to be lower priority. Oh, Look at the little hydrogen? No, look at the little glossy draclets. Adorable. Fantastic. What's our temp over here? Not that high. Why is this mealwood crying sometimes? And why do we have so many idlers? Um, what should I have them do? At this point, I'm not sure. Uh, put some more work into these builds. Why can't they reach this? They should be able to hop over this. What the hell? What, what do you mean unreachable? Can they not get up here? They can't get up there anymore. That's probably it. Actually, they should be able to climb this. Let me find out. Idol. Evil Plot. Can you move up here? Evidently not. Okay. In that case, temp ladders. Do they survive in the vacuum, or will you get rid of surplus there? Uh, I'm pretty sure they will survive in a vacuum. But also, yes. To, to the best of my knowledge, there's no way to... Control births. Uh, so sooner or later you're going to get glum animals because they're overcrowded. And the only way I've found to deal with them is turn them into food. And just about the only way that I've found to automate that is give them a sauna. Don't think too hard about it. Will the steam kill them? Yes, it will. Did he just plant it? I think he did. That's mealwood, though. No, we need you to plant the arbor acorn. Did you already do it? You did. Good boy. Who's a good pip? Fantastic. I'd really like to get the chlorine out of this room. Um, how about an airflow tile or two down here? Let's see how that goes. Apparently I need some storage bins for this stuff. Uh, yeah, that might help. That might help. What's your policy on backseat slash other common strat ideas? Uh, it gets to be a bit much in Oxygen Not Included. Far more than any game I've streamed by far. Uh, Ufta, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Do we have enough plastic? Ooh, we do. Uh, where are we going to put our steam turbines? Probably... Well, I should probably center them around here, where the heat is going to get pumped through, right? And I don't know how many we're eventually going to need. But... Let's just start with this.
Well, that's the beauty of this design. Uh, if we don't have enough steam turbines to keep up with the heat deletion, it's just going to stop letting heat in. Just another idea of how to automate the population control I've seen people use. Oh, by all means. It's been a while, so really just know the main insect. Uh, I know they drown hatches, which isn't any more humane, I would say. It's also a bit more of a nuisance. Did we get rid of all that CO2? Yes, we did. And we could probably add some more airflow tile here and there. So that it doesn't pile up. Looking for humane? Yeah, I don't think there is a humane way to do it, unfortunately. Okay, how close are we getting to vacuum? Relatively? Judging by the fact that our little gas pump has to keep stopping. Surprised there isn't a mod for some humane population control method? Maybe there just isn't a way to pull it off, or at least no one's found it yet. Alright. Uh... I guess I really want a more steady power supply until before I um, start doing the active cooling. I wouldn't mind cooling this area a little bit more, even though it's not strictly necessary yet. I could always just run the polluted water pipes over here, but that's going to transfer that heat into the base. We have been doing pretty well for heat this game, though. Having the two uh, AETNs on opposite sides of the base, so that we don't have like a hot side and a cold side, is very nice. Very nice indeed. Maybe I should run the hydrogen loop. Yeah, I think I probably should run the hydrogen loop through the water. It's quite cool though, because our water source is negative 10 degrees. We will eventually need another water source, but at this point, not really. How is our water storage? Oh wow, it's almost full. Well, by full I mean... Uh, the liquid reservoirs are mostly full. If they fill up, we'll also get water up to here. Let's print... Uh, let's see. Decreased athletics? Don't think so. Pacifist is fine. Increased medicine and doctoring. Uh, sure. Farming supply? Why not? Let's bring on bubbles. And for once, there's actually nobody waiting for a jeep name. So bubbles will be available. Do I have an, enough beds? Yeah, I do. And I think we probably have enough food. Philip B, name a dupe, no worries. Philip B. Did I type that right? Yeah, I think so. Fantastic. Okay. Welcome aboard. Uh, did I? There we go. Get the sweep only bins configured. Alright, Philip B. Yoroshku, where is 
kill it be? Um, we probably want to start you on doctoring since no one else has any doctoring skills at all. And as for priorities, obviously doctoring. Um, and it's also going to be farming and storing and stuff. Farming, storing, tidying, supplying. Fantastic. Put me to work, indeed. Okay. Oh, this got built already? We're not going to need any thermal aqua tuners or anything in here. This is strictly just so the dupes can move through here. Is the only reason it's two tiles high. Uh, if I am going to make it so the dupes can move through here... Then I should really have a vacuum lock. Oh, wait, couldn't I... No, I think that's probably a bad idea. How did you get here? Poker shell spawn. We don't want you dying in a fiery, horrible death. Okay. Should I do... Uh, a couple of airlock doors here, like usual. I'm going to have one here, and this is going to be a vacuum. Could I then... I could, could I share that vacuum? Is that a bad idea? I don't really want the dupes to ever have to come in here, but, uh, you know, I foresee... It's never going to go that smoothly, right? It's only bad if it doesn't work? Yes. The stupid idea that works isn't stupid. Uh, so let's say we have airlock door to vacuum. And then... Something like that. We should be able to get away with that, right? don't see why not. Yeah, that should actually be fine. I don't like how much further along I would have to put the steam turbines if I do add, like, more than two more of these. Is there a way I can put this, like, over here instead? I mean, yeah. That's not much better. In fact, we still only fit one more of these. Hmm. I wasn't expecting this. Um... What if I did, like, a zigzag here? If that goes there... And this is vacuum, and this goes here. In the rare occasion that we need a dupe to go up this way, that's our vacuum lock. And then we've got room for two more steam turbines over here. Yeah, I can definitely live with that. All right. We're not going to build the airlocks just yet, because it'll slow the dupes down like crazy. Let's sweep all this crap up. Just double check we made this out of steel. And steel. And steel. Fantastic. I'm 
pretty sure all of this is steel. Yes. I can actually just see it by mouse overing. Seems good. I should use S-Bends like that more when I'm dealing with these 3x2 airlock doors. I did make these out of ceramic. Yes, I did. Fantastic. And I just realized... I don't actually have it set up so that dupes have to wear spacesuits through there. Um, eventually I want to have a living area where the dupes just wear spacesuits to go anywhere else. But in the meantime, I think I'll just put them in a spacesuit if they're going to go up this high. Once we're ready to make this area dangerous. Can someone hurry up and wrangle this poor little thing? Did you have to wrangle the shrine, uh, shine bug? Honestly. Poor little guy. Wait, does that mean he's, like, domesticated now? Uh, I mean, it still says he's wild. This one's been groomed. Uh... I, I just hope we're not expected to feed it. What do they eat? Diet. Bristleberry... Bristleberry... Phosphorite. Hmm. We're still pumping gas out of here, but there's only 8 milligrams in the far corner. Quite a lot... oh, that's micrograms. I was going to say quite a lot more chlorine, but that's not true. Fantastic. Alright. Um, so we're going to have our polluted water go this way, and this way. And maybe I could have made a more convenient shape here. I think, uh, uh, we'll make a little exception here. We'll just run it up this way. Oh, yeah, why don't I do that? Bridge it across here. Here. That's pretty convenient, and it's going to be as cold as it ever gets right before it goes to the uh, steam turbines. Or these steam turbines, anyway. That'll definitely do. As for these ones... Um... Maybe we should have them go straight there before they go back in the loop. And some bridges. Uh, let's see. Going this way. 
and coming back. Not actually using that pipe anymore. That should probably be insulated. And then that needs to go back in. Here? Oh yeah, I think I see. I think I get the idea. Pr probably. It looks a little convoluted. But it's probably fine. Probably fine. We don't really need this bit of bridge either. It's not exactly as simple as taking off of a main bus uh, of belts in Factorio, but it's still pretty tidy. Relatively tidy. I should correct myself there. Seems good. Still got a few hundred micrograms. Are airlocks a mod or expansion? It's a mod. Uh, is that a vanilla thing? I'm not remembering. No, it takes uh, 400 refined metal, uh, 120 watts, but it doesn't draw power unless it's actually being used. It charges up a bunch, and even though... Uh, the idea is that these two tiles are a vacuum. It doesn't really work that way. Um, it blocks all fluid flow and unfortunately it will conduct heat from here to here. That's why I have two of them. Why are we scolding? What? Uh... Maybe this should be insulated? Probably should be insulated. In fact, could we hurry up with that? That is very clearly leaking heat. Uh, there shouldn't be heat here. How did you... Why is there carbon dioxide in here now? Can I make a little plastic uh, gas pump? Overheat temperature 75. This is over 100 degrees. So no. God damn it. Now we need to do this again. Plus one for CO2 team? I don't know how it got in there. I really don't. I, I presume when they block swapped it got through? Because no one would have been... Our PHL streams? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm pretty sure the CO2 came through here when they block swapped. Because they should always be in a spacesuit when they're in here. Which doesn't let them exhale into the into the world. Oops. Alright. Do I have enough plastic for this? Just barely. Shouldn't have to do this again, but here we are. Just a few pumps and it'll be gone. And that's it. It's already vacuum. Alright. Speaking of, we're down to 100 micrograms over here. 
May as well make that insulated, even though it really shouldn't be necessary. Hurry up and build this. Wall pumps? Mods? Yes, indeed. It is, I think, 40% the strength of a regular gas pump. Uh, for 50% the power. Yeah, 240 watts, 500 grams per second, versus 120 watts, 200 grams per second. Donian, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. So that's finally fixed again, and now we're not leaking heat. Or at least we're leaking it so slowly that we can pretend it's not even a thing. What are you working on? Um, well, at the moment, this over here is going to be our steam room for active cooling for the base. We're running polluted water through there. We need that because we're going to active cool our steam turbines. Uh, these ones are just here to delete heat. These ones will also delete heat from here. We also, also are trying to get... Why is there a shine bug in here? Do you think if I leave it there, it'll avoid getting itself killed by magma? I hope so. Uh, yeah, we're trying to exploit this volcano as well, so that we can... So we can have a more reliable source of power. It'll yeet, but not drop meat? Oh no. I don't want it to yeet, though. Can I wrangle it? I can't. I can make a trap for it, right? It costs... Weird stuff. Phosphorite and a bit of iron, I guess. I think I configured that one drop off to accept shine bugs. It's an air feeder? Give me a sec. One minute. Why are we still picking up salt water? And people are standing around here idle a lot. Okay. They didn't build this. Oh, they did get this shine bug out of there, though. Hurry up and build this thing before some poor critter gets trapped in there. Actually. Actually, actually. Uh, it needs to be powered first. Okay, I'm going to risk a little damage to wire, um, just to get this done first. Build priority 9, make this one 8. I 
And that should... Should ensure that they build the wires first so they don't get stuck in here. Why is everyone hanging out up here? That is really weird. What, why is this the idle hangout? I don't know, man. Uh, I guess I need to give them more building projects. Metal tiles, steel. We've actually got 2k steel. That's a decent amount. Actually, isn't 2k the limit? Based on the weight plate? It is. So we are way ahead. Nice. Alright, I guess I should go ham queuing up things that cost steel. Um, if I wanted to be really lazy, I could, like, have them build some bunker doors right here. I guess that would level the construction. But yeah, that would store, like, 2,000 steel that wouldn't count over here. Uh, but I think I have a... A slightly better idea. And then we need some uh, mechanized airlock made out of steel. We need some conductive wire made out of steel. And some whoops. Automation wire also made out of steel. Looks like they can reach all of that. Get them to sweep up all this crap since everyone's got so much idle time. And we print. Um, plus four husbandry. Mouth breather? No, I don't think so. Um, decreased medicine doesn't really matter when you're not a doctor. Farming suit wearing. You know what? I don't think we need anyone new at the moment. We've got too many idols, and if I'm not careful, too many mouths to feed. We're actually way ahead with our labor, which is awesome. Sweep all the things. That'll keep him busy for a minute. We we'll probably have to make some more storages. That's actually th there's actually just so much if we want to sweep everything. Is this vacuum? It is beautiful. Time to decon this, replace it with insulated tile, and now they all go to sleep. Figures. Oh, we got our vacuum in here, only not. I think for now we'll just stop about here, dig through this. Why do we have no power here? It's fine, I suppose. I should really just... Where are we getting our power from? Coal, basically. Oh, well, that's okay. How much coal do we still have? 20 tons. 
Uh, I get the impression we're running out. Slowly. We're not farming, uh, catches just yet. But we might have enough coal to at least get to where we're going. You know what? We're really not short on duplicate labor right now, so I think I will actually leave the manual generator. I was about to hook that up to the main network. Alright, build that please, and one of these. And then we have to put some water in here. Not the polluted kind. Uh, I haven't exactly left myself a lot of room for water pipes. But... If we expand our water bus up here... And... Assume... The usual... Height... Actually, that's, like, normal height. What happened? One, two. One, two. One, two, three. I'm not sure. Whatever, we'll just ignore that for now. Uh, whatever the case, we want some water to make its way over here. And I definitely don't want more than one tile of water for every three tiles of space. Uh, the water should stop at... Well, this is actually compressed liquid, Lamel. But with just one layer, 1,000 kilograms per tile. And this thing's overpressure at 1,000, so... We don't actually have to automate it if we just fill water up to that level, then it should avoid giving us any problems with the steam pressure. You haven't left yourself much space, but there's always spaghetti, but I have left myself space. Oh, you mean for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just a one-off thing that we have to put water into this. Isn't that way too much water? Um, not really. It just gives it a really big thermal mass, uh, so it takes a lot more to heat it up. Which means it's a lot easier for the steam turbines to keep up. I'm not sure how the steam turbines work when it comes to sucking in like, volumes of, uh, steam slash heat. Yeah, I don't think the steam turbines are actually going to get, like, go, th like, delete heat faster that way. What I really meant to say is we're going to have a lot more time before we reach a certain temperature. Is the air, air locks also liquid locks? Yes. Which is a little weird, but just go with it, I guess. That poor Draco. Can we wrangle it? You know, I don't know why I locked these uh, steam turbines in a room, if I'm going to active cool them, actually. Not Draco locks, indeed. They can reach all of that. Yeah, 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 we're good. Okay, so we can start making this a vacuum now, right? Too much liquid. Uh, let's see. 
once again. No, I think I'll just do a regular gas pump this time. Um, I'll put it in what amounts to the middle of the room, more or less. And we're actually over wattage on this wire, in theory. It's probably never going to happen, but let's make sure it doesn't happen. We are actually at the point where we have less lead than steel. I have to admit, I was not expecting that. We can always get some more, though. Um, I don't think we're so able to produce steel for the moment that we should abandon lead. Uh, where am I going to get some, though? Over here? And here. They do have to wear spacesuits to come down here, right? Yes. Yes, they do. Cool, cool, cool. Let's just dig through here, I guess. Might grab some diamond while we're at it. Harder planets when? Uh, when I master the game as I know it. Let's get another ladder down here. Dig over this way. Alright, that's going to take some time, I think. But at least for now, I would still prefer to make this lead as opposed to... Uh, as opposed to iron or steel. And run this down here. And down here. Can I just... Nope. Can't really mark a wire bridge for upgrade. I don't actually need this anymore. Yep, can I copy the wire? There we go. and deep on that and deep on that it should only take them as long as it takes them to bring back a little bit of lead I mean like one tile are you hurt? I saw movement down here. I got a bit too excited. I thought they were already down here. Here we go. Good job, I am suck. I see you are now faster than waddle speed. Could we pry over the lead? Fantastic. That was like 900... 829 lead. That honestly is probably all we need. What are we printing? Uh, 
Uh, how much dirt do we have? 20 tons? I don't think we're running out yet. I may as well just take some ice. Cooking, building, operating. Kitchen, cooking and kitchen menace. Perfect. Sometimes our talents don't match our passions. Alright. So we should see that... Uh... There we go. Delivered lead. Should see all that built quite soon. If we see red lights here, we know that all of the stuff we've automated is up to capacity. Uh, if I want to order a whole lot more steel to get built, what I can do is... I could just put it right here, actually. Uh, put a storage bin somewhere that accepts steel that's not sweep only. And I can limit it to however much steel I'd like to accumulate. Not sure how it says we've only got 1700 if there's two tons here. There must be like 300 steel. They haven't built this yet, have they? This is 400. But it's already got a bit delivered, perhaps? No? That's kind of weird. Oh, did I leave enough room over here? We want to have eventually an auto sweeper and a robo miner and uh, a conveyor loader and also a conveyor shutoff, perhaps? I don't want it to be dipping into the magma. I could put it here. Ish. Uh, let's see. Conveyor loader. Have to face this way. And then we could do the shut off just like this. That should be fine. Door says unreachable. Think the metal pile blocks construction. Huh. Well, that's rude. Wasn't expecting that. Maybe I should do that S-bend trick over here as well. We'll worry about that one after we've finished this one. Now, this is why I was reminded of the lead thing. And we're just going to have all gases pumped out of here. There's, there's not much, that much there, so... Well, it's probably just going to be easier... We've got plenty of plastic right now, actually. I'll just do a high pressure output up there just in case. Fantastic. Where do we have lead? Nowhere, except on the floor? Still? I hope they're not picking little bits of it up to carry to a to a build, as opposed to someone putting it into one of these two containers. Don't forget to mop, indeed. Now that we're able. Oh, they're coming in here with no spacesuit as well. That might not help. 
I'm not overly concerned about it until it's magma time, but I should probably set up a little S bend with uh, with Atmo suit checkpoints up here somewhere. I would say just a couple should be fine, but I see a lot of traffic here. Let's make room for four. And... Block these off. And just do some regular tile. That shouldn't even be there. Deconstruct buildings only. There we go. And then put some ladders here. We're obviously going to need some oxygen. power. May as well use this. I know the amount of lead we're asking for is climbing fast, but compared to one block of lead, it's really not much. Oh, wow. Look how many glossies we have all of a sudden. Uh, why are we glum? Are we cramped? No? I don't think so. Uh, where does it say happiness? Total happiness, team minus one. Are they not getting... Are they not getting enough attention? What's going on here? Why are they glum? I, it doesn't seem like they're overcrowded. How many are there including egg? Um, what does it say? Five. That's not that many. I know they can go to, like, eight, I'm pretty sure. I don't see any eggs. That's not to say they aren't there. Alright, let's see if this guy's going to be happy. Uh, he is. I think they were just not getting groomed. Glum. Happy. Okay. Okay. Well, now we're grooming all of them at once, so I guess that works. And there goes our plastic, which has been accelerating like crazy. Oh wow, we got our water as well. That's probably enough, to be honest. How much do we have here? Uh, quite a lot. Well, we can always add more. In fact, I left room for a... a bottle emptier, which is another easy way to add a bit of water here. But yeah, I think we'll leave it at that. Fantastic. Now hurry up and get the lead out. Apparently there isn't any? There is now. 684 kilos. 
Um, considering the most expensive thing we queued up was Atmosuit Docks. One, two, three, four hundred plus... Yeah, that's five hundred. I'm a little surprised at how long it's taking them to catch up there. Do, 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 do. Also that we're seeing people... Oh. Oh, I see. Slow people are using the spacesuits. Will they get faster just by using the spacesuits, or do I need to force them to run on hamster wheels? Down they go. I am Sark. Not so fast. I should probably do some stuff to boost morale as well. Um. Oh, we can make the fancy beds now, right? Furniture. Uh, let's see. Have we not unlocked it? Serious? Pretty sure I unlocked everything. Everything that we can without new sign. You're joking! Oh no. I didn't finish decor. Also multiplexing. Also some other obscure circuitry stuff. Well that's a bit of a fucky-wucky. Um, I do have the research stations. Fantastic. Maybe I should have used steel, or iron at least, to build this stuff. The amount of time this is taking. Why is there no power here? There is power here. But there isn't power here. Oh, there's like one piece missing. Uh, could we maybe prioritize that one? Since it's literally the only thing missing to start the slow process of draining gas. Is it? Someone gonna... Someone gonna build that? No? Okay then. Just, just build all of that conductive wire instead. Fantastic. Not like I... bumped the priority on this a significant amount of time ago. There we go. At least they got it done before sleepy time. Athletics will make them run faster, but to be honest, every dupe should train exosuit path. Yeah, I do like to do that eventually, but my question is... I know they can increase their athletics by running on the hamster wheels, but... Will they increase their athletics by doing other things, like just walking around, especially in the Atmo suits? I think the answer is probably yes, because I haven't set up like uh, a gym, and I've seen some extremely slow dupes graduate to being very slow. Falls asleep periodically. <laughs> I don't think we want that. Um, cannot build. That would be okay. Digging, ranching, operating... I don't think I care about this right now. Let's just take the food. 
What kind of food was this guy looking for? Spicy something or other? Must be great plus four or higher. Three unique food items. Picky. I think so, but more slowly. Okay. I can probably live with that. Except I could live with it a much, much better if we were getting some lead up here. At this rate, I should probably just start using iron, honestly. Yeah, I didn't think that day would come this early, but especially since we've got like two iron volcanoes. It probably would have been worth, uh, much more worth our time to just picked up 200 kilograms. That's not a ton, literally, but that is enough to make two uh, Atmosuit docks. So just, uh, what, two or three more trips and all of this will be done. Oh no. No, 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 no. Don't let the polluted... Don't let the polluted oxygen out. Uh, how about you look for aluminium gas or something? Until this has been fixed. Oh, I see. Um, that might be a problem. Now we need even more. Oh, it's actually like a hundred for four tiles. So maybe it's more, uh, uh, more lead than I realized. That's 1.2 tons right there. So it's really just walking time. Before they get this finished. Alright. Uh, if I'm going to wait for that, what should we focus on? How's our pip doing? Where is our pip? I I see zero pips in this room. What happened? What? Um Why don't we just move this pip egg up here, I guess? Critter egg. There is here. Apparently it already has a destination. I better make this priority 9. Just until they move it. Are you the one that escaped? We may never know. I feel like there should be some boost to new dupes late in the run. Printing one now without restricting access to outside will ensure the most important task will be done by the slowest dupe available. Same logic as killing themselves by digging ahead and then turning around and building walls. Indeed. Oh yeah. I should really put some off-stream time into thinking about some of these things. Uh, we've got a mob here. It... It spits out an obscene amount of polluted oxygen, but it's all germy. And I haven't figured out how I would clean it. It wasn't difficult to exploit the polluted oxygen up here, because there are no germs. But I think... Chlorine is heavier than air, right? It's always hanging around down the bottom. Okay, if chlorine is heavier than air... Then... Uh, 
Then how is the air going to get out after we clean it? What if I had a, a really long, uh, like, hallway that was only two tiles high, and we had chlorine down the bottom? And then, could we sense germs in the atmosphere with the sensor? Is it under ventilation, perhaps? Gas pipe element sensor, gas pipe thermo sensor, gas pipe germ sensor. Suddenly we have 12k uh, uh, lead on paper. Um, this might be what we're forced to use. I don't know if we could sense it while it's just in the atmosphere. We can detect pres air pressure. Well, I think this works for water pressure as well. Nope, never mind. We can detect pressure. We can detect duplicate motion, temperature, wattage, time of day, germ sensor. Automation germ sensor. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay. So could I have a layer of chlorine and then a layer of oxygen slash polluted oxygen? Um, I could probably just have like a bunch of, uh, what are they called again? Deodorizers on the floor anyway. I think they'll suck in the air from a tile above them, even if they're sitting in chlorine, right? Um, so we have a we have a two tile high hallway, chlorine in the bottom. Uh, the polluted oxygen that this guy is farting out up the top, and then somewhere or other we have something to detect germs. A uh, gem sensor. And we're going to get a big pressure buildup. Because he spits out a lot of polluted oxygen. 3.5 kilograms in one tile. So if we can have lower pressure oxygen above, outside. And open a door above, just like we did up here. Except we open it when no germs are detected. Maybe we put a germ sensor like here as well, or even like here and here. Just to try and be super safe. Maybe that'd work? They go two in either direction. The deodorizers? Yeah, so even if the deodorizer is on a tile that's immersed in chlorine, it'll still clean oxygen nearby, right? So we don't have to worry about the floor being covered in chlorine and the deodorizers being saturated in chlorine. Perhaps it could be done. Now how am I going to move this wild mob... Uh, to our very artificial environment, I wonder. Plastic tile used to build the walls and floors of rooms. Run speed plus 50%. Um, yes please. Completely forgot about this. Uh, it would take a while though. Oh, it's only like from 25% to... Plus 25 to plus 50 percent. Yeah, we would need a lot of plastic. And then we have to worry about it melting as well. It is an insulator, so as long as we keep things within reason, that's actually a bonus. Plastic ladder is just good. Once you have a big surplus of plastic, start using it. Um, and we're getting there, because our throughput is up. Comfy bed is 200. 
I could make six, and then I wouldn't be able to make any uh, steam turbines or anything for a minute. Large sculpting block. Blank canvas. Can't remember what we were researching. Oh yeah, we need a uh, comfy bed. No, oh, that's it. Cool, cool, cool. Oh hey, we have a dense puffed. Takes in oxygen, spits out oxalite. So I guess it's just consuming oxygen as far as we're concerned. I'm not too worried about that. Thimble reed seed, not too exciting. Suit wearing, farming, doc uh, decorating. Decreased machinery, decreased strength. I think we'll skip that one. Got an awful lot of stuff here that's never getting swept. Most of it we can't. Did the hatch just eat some of it? Whatever, I'm not overly concerned. Alright, deliver suit, prior nine, copy settings, doesn't include deliver suit. And there goes our oxygen. Fantastic. There's probably some stuff up here waiting for lead. But hopefully we have some in the container now. Nope. Oh yeah, we've got 175 kilo. That's something. Can confirm that is technically something. You could drop a storage... Oh wait, that reminds me. No, the pipsqueak was born already. Just wrangle it. Uh, with some water and store the oxalite for space. Nice to have a stack to go while working things out. That's not a bad idea, actually. Uh, let me just add... Where is oxalite? Here it is. Uh, and they, this is not marked sweep only, so they will go out of their way to pick this up. How much oxalite do we have here? I can't see it... at all. I, I can see that it's here somewhere, off-gassing, but... What? Why can't I... Find it. Uh, well, if the dupes can pick it up, they will. I think this is set to high priority. It is. Doesn't always show you think that's a bug. Okay, then. Oh, I don't think they can reach there. Probably decon these tiles right here. Alright, where are we up to? We got 13 tons of lead that we can access. I might mark these as lower priority now. Not really concerned about when this happens. Just something for the dupes to do when they run out of other tasks. Maybe I should crank the priority on this though? No. It's... No, it's actually getting there. There is a hatch. No, that's dirt. That is not a hatch. Okay. So these guys are all happy. Fantastic. That's what I like to see. 
Hungry, tame, groomed, happy. Uh, I thought we didn't have any food for them here a while ago, but apparently they've been managing. So they must have been getting something. Still, I'd like to give them more polluted dirt. I need to set up a Paku farm, but I don't know where I want to put it. Why don't I just adapt this area, since we've already got some pea water over here. Doesn't have to be the final build. Probably going to need some ladders to pull that off, though. How are we on dirt? 8.2 tons. That's actually getting a bit alarming. Um, aren't Paku a source of dirt? Yeah, yeah, they turn seeds into dirt. Polluted dirt. Which is going to help feed these guys as well. Maybe... I probably have enough electricity now. Uh, that it's about time to start. Can I uproot? No, never mind. Uproot. Where is that tool? Isn't there a tool for uprooting en masse? Dig. Here we go. No, I don't think that's it. Yes, that'll do. Uh, and we're just going to change these to Bristle Blossom. 24. Uh, we've got just enough. So we're just going to be converting water and electricity into food. And side effect, we're going to get some Bristle Blossoms. Uh, some seeds. Which will allow us to feed the Paku. I don't know that we can easily support that just yet, but we're going to try. See how that goes. Stop digging the last few layers, then you don't need ladders. Last few layers. Stop digging the last few layers. I don't understand. Do, 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 do. Let's get some diamond. Why not? But low priority. It's just good for making some nice decor and stuff. Alright, did we get this finished? Uh, no. Can we crank the priority? Yes. That is probably what Evil Player is doing. Good job, Evil Player. Oh, this is melting. Which means we're going to get some rain in our base. It's not going to be much of a problem. Or any problem, for that matter. I need to update this to run off the main bus, actually. 
We'll need a bit more lead for that. How much do we have? 13 tons. Well, 13 tons we can access, but I'm wondering about... Where? Here we go. Uh, we've got like 670 kilos here. That's like six and a bit tiles. Almost there. Even if it's just temporary, I'm not sure how big I want this uh, factory farm to be. What about this? And we'll have a little ladder as a treat. And then... Fish release. Fish feeder. I need to make sure the water level goes that high. How many tiles is this? Uh, let's call it... 40? Plus like 30, 35? Plus like 40? So 80... Uh, about 105... How much is this? 70. Alright, we won't have to go far. Oh no. There's already germs in here, aren't there? Not as bad as what's up here. What is that? Seriously, what was that? Spooky. here. Uh, probably borrow from this wire. And pipe over here. Seems good. What are we printing? Uh, probably omelettes. What food quality is that? So much crap here. Omelette. Uh, quality standard plus two. That's not even halfway to plus four. I mean, it is halfway to plus four. Must be great or higher. Three different... Plus four foods. It's rough. Alright. How's this build coming along? Still emptying the gas. Okay. Don't really care if Igneous Rock is in here. Oh, I just saw... Yeah, I saw a wave of these going from red to white because Atmo suits. That makes sense. 
finally built this. Fantastic. Um, let's set it to oxygen again. And the dupes will be able to come through here. And finish building that stuff, and we'll get rid of those temporary wires. I need to move our farms, because this is... This is the big dupe luxury area that I want to design. We've unlocked comfy bed, sun lamp, aero pot, which we could make out of glass or diamond. Oops. Uh, what have we got? Landscape canvas. Let's go. Wait, do we have um do we have any artistic dupes yet? Uh literally zero. Or at least they haven't had the opportunity to express their creativity just yet. Oh. Uh yeah, Philip B has a quite a bit of morale to spare, but not the skill points. Evil Pla is looking pretty good, actually. You know, I'm getting so much deep idle time. Maybe I should uh, schedule them to have more downtime so they get more morale. Downtime, morale plus one. Morale plus two, plus three, plus four. Holy crap. Uh... Maybe we'll go to plus two. It's kind of a free morale point. Uh, it's probably safe to give Evil Pla mechatronics engineering. Pro probably. What else have we got? Bungie Bum has some points to spare. Mechatronics Engineering also. Move in. How about... How about Critter Ranching? How many skill points do you have? Five. Yes, yes. Uh, you can be our first Critter Rancher too. Let's make sure you have the priorities for it. Also digging. We don't have that many ranches, so I want to prioritize that first. Fantastic. Um, 10 out of 3. Hell yes. Grab some improved strength and be our first plumber. Good job, Sigma Bean. Sigma Bean. That's probably fine. Uh, and then what? Ten out of two. Thirteen out of one. Uh, I think I am Sark can probably afford a skill upgrade. We don't desperately need any of these, but may as well get you to move faster, at the very least. Kidara is still pretty new. Oh, Kidara is going to be our first artist. That one's basically free. Uh, I don't really want to go further just yet, though. 12 out of 6 on Sigma Bean. Um, I guess we can have another rancher. Sigma 
Queen, fantastic. And Kevin's got a lot of points to spare. Exosuit training. And I don't know what else. Maybe just leave it at that for the moment. Normally... Oh, I see. Okay. That seems good for now. Oh, wait. Boovim? No, Boovim's only four over. We'll probably keep it at that for now. And second thought... Oh, this is free. Improved construction or improved carrying? We kind of do need more carrying capacity right now. Oh, and Mr. Ray Ray. Lots of spare skill points right now. Let's go improved carrying and digging or construction can't have too many construction all right is that everyone pretty much up to date i think so how about our projects Got this one finished. Fantastic. Now it is as it should be. And... We've got vacuum on one side here. Look at that hydrogen spilling through somehow. That was weird. That was very weird. Gonna take a few more minutes for this to empty. In the meantime, we should probably. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Um, I need to wait until. Wait until this is vacuum before we build an airlock here. And then once that is done. Uh, we need to bring some water up this way for the steam room, which is going to be a little bit of spaghetti this time. Actually, that can go down a tile. And put the output here, because this is going to go here. And I'm realizing now that water is going to flow down this way as well. That's fine as long as we don't add too much. Yeah, that should be okay. Let's make sure we don't actually connect this just yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can remove all of this now. And the liquid, uh, liquid vent as well. should just use iron. Quite possibly. You know what? Even if we shouldn't, uh, I could always replace the iron heavy watt conductive wire across here with lead. 
after the fact. So main bus wire is going to go here. That's going to be in the way. Can I actually just... I think I can decon this and... It's not like the dupes can jump across there, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no. Uh, we're already out of iron. Hmm. I mean, they can make ore, but still. It's significantly less labor than trudging all the way down to pick up lead. And if and when we have material shortage, we can swap it for lead. It's probably fine. Probably. So that should probably be... Conductive wire bridge. And so should this. Actually, we don't need that at all. Just replace it with heavy watt conductive. That way we don't need... Well, we've already got the... The power transformer here. I don't think we need to worry about that. This one as well. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm just realizing that every single tile here represents a whole recipe of iron. Uh... Maybe it isn't less duplicate labor to make iron than to bring up lead. For now. But, like I said, I can always just replace it with lead. As soon as we hit rock bottom of iron, I'll just tell him to use lead. I guess. Maybe I should have a storage bin for iron and steel so we load up more than two tons. Seems like a good idea, actually. What are we grabbing? Probably fertilizer? You know what? I haven't looked at my food throughput or anything for a minute. I don't think we should be getting more dupes right now. Let's just grab the fertilizer. We're not struggling on labor. And I think one more dupe would be going backward on food. That's going to take quite a while to finish, actually. How much iron do we actually have lying around? Six, seven tiles worth.
Oh, the steam's getting close to 200. Uh, okay, I changed my mind. Let all of that iron just drop down here, I guess. Look at it go. 1600 refined iron. And... Swap this out for lead. Um, and we're going to need active cooling for these steam turbines, is something I'm realizing. It's like a catch-22. We need the power for the active cooling for the power for the active cooling. Um, but I think... I'll, I'll wait until... Once we've got the water up here... No, I really should just continue the polluted water bus. Which is going to look like what exactly? Oh, that looks weird. What is going on there? I don't think that's supposed to be connected there anymore. Or I have completely confused myself. Um, that probably doesn't go there. Who's getting scolded? What are you doing in here without a freaking Atmo suit? Budgie bomb. What? What? The bloody, bloody, bloody hell do you think you're doing? How did that happen? I... I can't account for it. The Atmosu checkpoint is working. That's terrifying. Okay, uh, back to business. Um, that looks about right. But I think I've kind of... No, it should be okay. Um, we just need the loop to go up like this and back. So, like so. Spaghetti intensifies. this, and then just like this. Where are the steam turbines going to be, theoretically, eventually? A little bit of passive cooling. How many tiles is this? One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish. Uh, so then, coolant loop would look like. something like that. back again. Oh, that just goes back in there, actually. That should be fine. So 
So bridges like so. Where did that just end up going? Okay. And like this. And we don't need to build all of that just yet. But now we can see where they go. Looks good. That's going to take a minute to build as well. So many things. I wish I could have used all that idle time to build some of this. If I had perfect foresight of what was to come. Oh my god. What? There. It actually still works. Huh. That opens up some possibilities. Basically an infinitely thin uh, vertical divider. Oh, we're getting close to empty here. Still 50 uh, micrograms in the corner. But it is dropping. 44. There we go. Fantastic. When does this thing erupt again? Next activity, 46.7 cycles. Not for a while. be finished building this for a while. Okay. What else can we do in the meantime? Is this thing working? No. Where's the power? Uh, it is connected to a manual generator. I guess that's fine. Uh, we should probably rescue these poor little Paku though. Pity we couldn't grab them while they were eggs. Um, so I'm gonna need... Well, first of all, we should probably cut this off for the moment. Filters not designated. Baku. Baku Friday. Looks like they'll... Looks like that'll work, even though there's just a bit of water down here. How did this water end up here? I have no idea. How did it... What? What is this? Dupes. You've got some explaining to do. Anyway... Let's try rescuing these little paku. We need fish traps. 200 plastic each. Bloody hell. We don't need that many, though, to make the paku start breeding. I think it's literally just two. Got a bunch of polluted oxygen coming in. Oh yeah, we need a little bit of water up the top of this. Um, how about I just steal it from here? We only need to put a little bit so that there'll be a layer of water on the top. Um, and that'll prevent the polluted water from off-gassing. Which it's currently not doing because there's a lot of CO2 here actually. 
I'd still like to prevent it in my own way. We'll get rid of that CO2 at some point. Clothing refashionator. Fascinating. Oh, yeah, I wanted to put some landscape canvases here. Or how about... Oh, there's no plants here. Wait, what? There are plants here. I thought the paintings couldn't be behind the plants. Apparently they can. It's not going to force uproot, is it? it? It does. Okay, never mind. Um, what about up here? Yes, okay. Yeah, I thought... I thought I was putting them up here. Let's go one, two... Three, four... And we can't fit one over here. Seems good. Not tacky at all. Colony lacks crop tending, still. Crop tending. It's this one. It's like the first farming one. Who do we have that's interested in that? We have Philip B with 7 out of 2 skill points. Let's go. Only one skill point available, though. Next time. Uh, who else have we got? Uh, we got Sloder. We can afford this. Fantastic. Sloder, ranching and farming. Beautiful. Blank canvas, go burr. How's our coal? 11.8 tons remain. This is fine. Oh, I should have a off tap here for polluted water. That's perfect, actually. And we can put in some water. Only need a little bit. That's actually enough already. Just a little layer on the top. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, we have our fish trap sprung. Did I set this to accept Paku? I did. Make it high priority. Otherwise, if the dupes don't get to this fast enough, uh, the 200 plastic that went into the fish trap will actually just go to waste. So hurry up, dupes. I'm going to grab some water real quick. Here we go. No. God damn it, Larius. Errands. I see nothing. Haku. Uh, it doesn't show what the fish trap has caught, but they're clearly regular Paku. 
Paku and Paku Fry. Priority nine. Errands. Nobody. It, it seems like nobody is trying to use it. Maybe the water does have to come up to here. In that case, uh, maybe I should build a fish release here as quickly as possible. And copy settings. And errands. And I still see nothing. I don't think it shows errands for this. I don't know. Oh, is this it? Of course not. It's not like there's 200, 400 plastic just waiting to go to waste here. Don't hurry or anything. Storing 30 out of 20 critters. What? Wait. What? Uh, why... Why does it think there's 30 critters here? Can anyone guess? Wait, is this like... This giant room? Is that... Is that what the fish trap... Uh, the fish release thinks is going on? The tank isn't a room. Right, gotcha. Uh, that's kind of dumb. Let's just hurry up and fix it as quickly as we can. Pneumatic door. Right about here. Mach schnell bitte before the day is out. Yes, one more. Go, go, go. Okay, storing zero out of twenty critters. Let's go. Fantastic. Got there eventually. And they do drop them. Aww. Poor oh, little Paku. I forgot that this was a tile. Well, they do find their way into the water eventually. But yeah, that's a bit, a bit cruel, I think. Alright, now we can continue with the business of bringing them water. FPS Entropy. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's dig through here. Slime is going to escape. We should probably just try to dig it out as quickly as possible. Okay. Oh yeah, this was supposed to be polluted water. Seems good. We are creeping towards completion. Oh, the heavy white wires up here. Excited to see that polluted water loop finished, not gonna lie. 
don't think I'll need to prioritize it to make it get done first. The sound of digging slime is kind of gross. some more deodorizers while we're here. What do we got? I guess I'll take fertilizer. We've already got slicksters downstairs. Hovering over the water like crazy. That looks so weird. I love it. Hello, yes, I'd like to report a UFO. How much water they need to be happy. Whatever the case, that's the beginning of our supply of polluted dirt. Now we need to grow enough bristle blossom seeds to keep up with them. Uh, luckily there's only two of them. So I don't think we have to worry too much just yet. Steam turbine disabled by automation red. Uh, not for long. I was surprised to see those green bars though. They shouldn't have been doing anything. Oh, that probably means they have done something. Why not use mealwood seeds? Uh, do they eat mealwood seeds? Paku. Bristle blossom seed, briar seed, algae, waterweed, pincher, balm lily, oxyfern, fungal spore, dasher, salt vine, wart, joya, spore chit. Is it just everything? Buddy bud, mealwood. Yeah, they do eat mealwood seeds. Uh, how do I feed them again? I need to build a fish feeder. Oh, that's right. I was waiting for the water level to get up. Well, we can build the feeder furnace. No reason not to. Wait, if we just leave them as wild... Um, doesn't that mean we don't really need to feed them? They just won't multiply. So there's no real urgency. How many seeds do we have? Let's see. 152.1 kil kilograms of sleet wheat grain. Uh, I know that is the seed for itself, like, it's also a food, so I want to be careful with that. Um, 931 mealwood seed? That might be enough, actually. Yeah, I think, uh, we can probably afford... Uh, we can probably afford to give them mealwood seed, you know? Just, just maybe? Oops. There we go. 
Except now we're just teasing them until we get more water in. Bait Schultz. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can we even reach this? I don't think so. There we go. Gonna want to get a carbon skimmer in here though. Maybe like here. here, I guess. Get that CO2 out of here. And let's look at the uptime. That'll tell us. Last five cycles, 3%, so it has been doing something. So it does make sense that the, uh, the efficiency bar is in the green. Because we only let it consume steam at 200 degrees. So we don't have active cooling yet, but for how often this thing needs to activate, we've got more than enough to spread that heat out. And we've got uh, hydrogen loop with the AETN cooling the base as well. Two AETNs, actually. One on either side. But yeah, once we get steady power source and active cooling going, then we can go a bit more ham. Now we have a vacuum. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's get our second airlock in here. Beep, 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 beep. Taking their sweet time getting the pipes here, actually. Except the lead ones, that's understandable. Good job, Sloda. Already getting blossom seeds. Very nice. Did I mark all of these to not be harvested? No. There's literally just one of them that's off limits. And surprisingly, we haven't. We didn't have any glossies starved to death, did we? Surely not. I'm pretty sure they would usually beat the dupes to harvesting the uh, meal word, actually. But how did we end up with only two? Glossy Draco. Meal word. One unit per cycle. And meal word gives us... Uh, life cycle, three cycles. Wouldn't that mean we need one to support, uh, three to support one Treco? I don't think that's right, because life cycle, 12 cycles, additional domestic growth, life cycle, three cycles. 
Um, I'm pretty sure I remember calculating. Because I had like a... Uh, how many tiles is this? 96. I had like... Something like this size. I had 5 or 6 mealwood down the bottom to feed... I think it was like up to 5 drekos. Oh, whatever the case, I should probably... Disable harvest on a few more of these. Because it's not impossible. I know we've got some glossy Draco eggs here. That accounts for some of the population. Don't tell me we've brought some of them up here. No. No, we're good. How's our polluted water over here? Oh, I didn't reconnect this? No, I did. We're just waiting on some pedal power. That's fine. Also, some of it's going to deleting CO2. Oh. I accidentally some achievements. I was trying to click on duplicate skills, I think. Improved farming? Oh, that's cutting it a bit close. Who was it that was also good to go with crop tending? Or something? Philip B? Philip B is waiting on a couple of thousand more XP. Cool, cool, cool. Can we get this done with relative urgency? I would like to see it done this week. Wow, look at him go all of a sudden. I want to do what Damsel did with uh, a hydrogen room with pincher pepper plants for the glossy drek. Is that a wild glossy? Huh. How about that? I don't think I've ever seen one before. What are we printing? Uh, ranching, supplying, decorating, narcoleptic. I'm actually getting a little worried about dirt. Let's print some. Oh, I should be a little bit worried about water as well. We've only got ludicrous amounts of it remaining. I can always get some more from around here. Also, also, it's like... 41 more cycles before we get more free water. That's a little worse than I was expecting. So we should probably collect some more. Or I could start taking in water from this hot source. Um, but I think I would like to have more cooling first. I don't know, we're, we're doing very well on cooling, but... We could easily change that. We could easily change that. Look how cold this little thing is. The fish feeder itself is like nearly 30 degrees, but it seems like the arm never changes temperature. 
Or maybe because it's it's because it hasn't touched water yet. I'm surprised... Oh, we have two electrolyzers. 13 dupes, two electrolyzers, and one... Uh, polluted water source that's constantly off-gassing oxygen. I guess that's enough. And if I cared to... find some way to exploit it... Uh, the mob spits out a ludicrous amount of polluted oxygen. The only trouble is it's full of chaps. Hmm. It's a pity we can't, like, make a breeze or something, blow chlorine around the room. I guess I could pump chlorine from the bottom of a room to the top of the room. And if it were quite narrow, it would blow past all of the oxygen and clean it up. There's a thought. All right, are these guys going to be able to eat anytime soon? <laughs> We're getting there. Also getting rid of most of the CO2. Oh. Much more of the power is done. Dust is good. Why is this being cut off? We've still got four and a half tons of lead we can access before we do any more digging. Did you just... Urgent relax. Okay. You came down here to eat lunch. Good job. 10 out of 10, Mr. Riri. We're so close. Oh, is it time to start putting water in here? I think it is. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Alright. Water go burr. And I could probably even let it fill up. It's as long as we end up with less steam than a thousand kilograms per tile in the room. If we filled this much up with a thousand kilograms per tile and still had 16 tiles empty, flashed it to steam. It wouldn't actually cause a problem. But there's no reason to go that far. What else are we doing? Beach chair. Plus five to eight morale. Uh, I really need to start Figuring out how I'm going to lay out the deep luxury area. I've got the space to do it, it's just... Tearing everything up and 
going from scratch is kind of a... It's a whole process. I think the first thing I want to do is make sure I've got room... Or enough plastic uh, for... 13... Comfy beds. So 2600 plastic. And then first thing in the morning... Uh, we tear up all the beds and whatever else. Figure out exactly where we're putting those. Um, I also kind of want 13 spacesuits for them to wear all day. And then we can get rid of these uh, spacesuit docks and all these other places. I think probably here... Well, how, how big are the rooms going to be? Maybe across two levels. Um, private bedroom. Minimum size 24 tiles. Uh, so that's 6 by 4, right? So 6 tiles wide? Minimum height is four. Convenient. Two decor items. Uh, what? Two decor items has back wall tiles. And six by four. And of course, a comfy bed. So. Six by four. So like that. And then we need one more tile for the walls between each. So seven... Seven per dupe. Um, let's say we do seven per floor. Seven sevens are 49. That goes... All the way out to here, just for the bedrooms? Oh, I, I was going to say I could start here, but I'm trying to figure out... If, if I'm going to have like seven uh, Atmo suit things here. Maybe I should do it across more floors. Oh boy. Um, if we do, like, Atmos suit checkpoint 1, 2, 3, then that would be only 21 tiles. Uh, I should probably go for more than that. I want to go for, what, 16 dupes in the end? We're actually almost there. Let's say we do 8. Um, I could either go like 56 tiles on each of two floors. That's kind of a lot. Or I could like half that and go across four floors. Take some lime. So... 28, was it? Yeah, that's for four. So it'd be like... This big? I could see myself doing that. Um, I would have to move it back one tile though, just so we have room for... Four Atmo suit docks. Uh, and one checkpoint. So it's going to be offset just a little bit from our usual layout. And then maybe we could have, like, a shared leisure area over here that's inside. 
the safe area. Yeah, that's starting to make sense. Of course, we've already got all of this infrastructure that's like filling the entire base with oxygen. That can easily be changed. I really don't want to do this before we've got uh, the Atmo suit thing, that is, before we've got a reliable power source. Alright, suppress current. How much water do we have in here? A bit. Time to put in some sensors. Let's see. Oh, how much steel do we have? Plenty. Yeah, it's time to build this stuff. Okay, so Thomo sensor. Say, right about here. I could make it out of lead. Uh, I think I'd rather play it safe. Well, it... Yeah, no, I definitely want to play it safe, because it sends a red signal by default. Uh... Maybe I should even use a not gate and flip it so that it's like, this is open by default. Except, I think I'm going to need a not gate. Because the conveyor shut off needs a green signal to be open. So... Let's see. Yeah, we're, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to need a knock gate anyway. Because this will have to have the opposite condition to this, right? Let's do it with steel. And uh, shipping, grab that. Conveyor rail, conveyor loader. Should probably make that out of steel as well. I mean, really, I'm pretty damn confident that this doesn't need to be steel. But do I want to find out the hard way that I should have built it out of steel when we've been having such an easy time making steel this time? I think the answer to that question is fairly obvious. Steel all the way. And I won't even have a dupe dig out this granite because we'll let the robo miner do it once everything's ready. Um, we need some conductive wire here. Probably, oh, just do it from there. Sure. And don't forget this one. Do I want to rotate it, maybe? Probably. Conveyor, uh, like so. And then we just need conveyor loader, like soda. I guess I'll put it here. Conveyor rail made out of steel. And... Um... To 
doesn't need to go through there, does it? There's no real reason. Convey a rail straight up through here. And shoot. Okay. I think that's just about it. Uh, make sure we don't actually power this until we're ready. May as well build another steam turbine. Oh, how much did I say? 2600 plastic before we do that one project. Cool, cool, cool. Grab some insulated pipe. Probably just drop all of that in here. Liquid vent. Doesn't have a melting temperature or anything. Uh, an overheat temperature. I'm pretty sure copper's fine here. And that is only most of our steel. Uh, where am I putting the temperature sensor? Anywhere, really. Automation thermo sensor. No, I think I want this close to close to the steam turbines. How about I just move swap these around for the look of it? And just run that straight through. Thermo sensor right about here. I won't bother having a different thermo sensor for each steam turbine, especially since we're going to share that logic here. And we're basically just going to say... Uh, if, if steam temperature is less than 200, open the door, and let any solids through as well. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. Uh, no, if steam if steam temp is less than two hundred, close the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So closing the door lets the heat through. Seems good. How much water do we have here? Not that much. I really don't think we need that much, though. Let's cut it off for now. On second thought, m more thermal mass would mean... A finer control of the temperature. So let's go for it. Why not? What? Oh, I thought that was a different kind of water in the polluted water loop. This is fine. Uh, 
this is fine. It's going to take him a while to finish those bills, even if we've got all the materials. I know we've got the steel, because it only went down to like 400 out of 2,000. piece of automation wire here. Very important. Haku farm is looking good. Um, are they eating from this here? I don't want a tropical fry, do I? I'm pretty sure... A tropical paku. Finds the paku extremely delicious. Or was it the gulp fry? I think it's the gulp fry that takes... It turns polluted water into water. Uh, in this context, that'd probably be fine, but normally I put the Paku in with a production area that happens to spit out polluted water, and then it messes up our gravity filter. It doesn't seem to say so here. I think the gulp fish is the one that converts... Uh, polluted to regular water. Anyway, uh, I guess there was more water here than I realized. This is fine. Oh, our steam turbines are running. Why are they burping like that? This thing is set to 200 degree steam. This is barely under 200 degrees, but the efficiency bar acts as if it's sucking in like 150 degree. No? What? I have to guess that it takes the last few seconds into account or something. Kind of weird. Alright, I dare say that is well and truly enough water. What's this ladder made out of? Sandstone? That shouldn't be a problem here. R probably. Stone. Melts at 926 degrees. Do you think this metal tile is going to reach 926 degrees or so without the steam up here reaching 200? Maybe. I don't think the dupes even need that those ladders there anymore, actually. Ooh, sparkle streaking. Nice. Look at that look on his face. I am Sarka's having a great time. Definitely nothing to worry about here.
cool, cool, cool. We have our sensor, which means we can actually give it settings. Uh, so let's see. If door open, it means we must be above 200 degrees. So if we're below 200 degrees, green signal. No. This is backward. Uh, if we're above 200, green signal. Currently it thinks we're at, like, absolute zero. If we're above 200, we want the steam turbines on. That works. If we're above 200, open the door to stop more heat from coming in. That works. And if we're below 200, if we're above 200, don't let new solid that's really hot come up this way. If we are above 200, yeah, if we're below 200, let hot solids come up this way. That seems good. That sounds about right. All the pipes are done. All the cables are done. Uh, we're just waiting on conveyor loader. Just the conveyor stuff, which is honestly not a very high priority. So, well, on the other hand, I don't want to let a ton of heat build up on, like, a ten-ton single tile of debris here before we let any of it through. And I need to configure this as well. So, just to double-check again. Uh, liquid magma turns into igneous rock. Yes, it does. When it cools down. Miscellaneous? No. Raw mineral? Igneous rock. Perfect. Oh, and we need to power this as well. Which apparently we already had the wire for. Nope. Never mind. Alright, so this is for Igneous Rock and nothing else. Um, no conveyor receptacle, obviously. And I don't particularly care when the second steam turbine gets built. We probably, maybe, possibly don't need it. Um, I would like to queue up some more up here, actually. Alright, so that can all just stay at priority 5. Oh, uh, and we're going to need some more automation wire across there. Seems good. I think I forgot to configure this. Uh, we only want to run... Our Thermo Aqua Tuna, if it's not going to freeze polluted water, it'll drop the temperature by 14 degrees. And just to double check, I think it's negative 22. Polluted water... oh. Negative 20. Um, and I think we should give it a bit more of a gap. So let's say if we're above zero degrees. And I forgot to unmute myself. Uh, but yeah, once we have the power to spare... Oh. 
Well, that's something I could fit in here. I'm glad I left the space, actually. Um, on the main power network. Let's do a smart battery. Made out of steel. And if, I hope we can squeeze it in. Uh, but I want to do an AND gate. Which is going to, oh, that's perfect, actually. That is perfect. At least for the first Aqua Tuna, it's going to be easy. So we're basically just going to say... Oh, this could probably be lead. That should be steel, though. Which it is. Um, end gate. Out of lead. Automation wire. Out of lead. May or may, ne may or may not need a knock gate between this. Um, but if power is enough, and temperature is high enough that we're not going to freeze the water, run Thermo Aqua Tuna. And this way, even while we're pretty power poor, we can set this up and not worry about it. So how does this work? I think the battery works just like a liquid reservoir for the automation. Red signal when full enough, green signal when low enough. That's probably the opposite of what we need. Uh, I'll definitely take some coal. Let's see. We want... Red signal when we're getting low, right? So yeah, we will need a knot gate for this one. Which, given the shape of things, is going to have to go here. Or like here. I think I like this better. Okay. So in other words, if we're not too low on battery... And if our temperature isn't too low... Hmm. Um, battery is flooded, but it looks like it'll work anyway, as far as the automation signal is concerned. Let's try it. Uh, yes. Yes, it will. Alright, so low threshold, say 30%. High threshold, 90. And... And I don't know if the battery will actually... function? Tyrannum, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Renan. There we go. Software and game development? Fantastic. How you been? So I kind of need to flash this to steam now, because I put enough water in that the battery is... Uh... Well, I thought the battery wouldn't work, but apparently it is working. Okay. I see how it is. Pretty good. Got bugged down in what turned out to be the halting problem. Indeed. Uh, I haven't been computer sciencing for a minute, so... I can't say I know exactly what that is. How's this build going? Uh, oh, is it finished? I think it's finished. I'm not worried about getting one more 
steam turbine just yet. Let's plug this sucker in. The problem, space is small enough that I can just brute force it. Fantastic. Alright. Uh, I don't think the volcano is going to be... Why is this so slow? Okay, it's done. Never mind. Uh, I don't think the volcano is going to be uh, activating for a minute. But we'll find out soon enough when that is going to be. I'm doing visual programming on a 2D grid. AI was well... Uh, all was well. Until I added the ability to reverse direction at runtime. Stuff got complex, indeed. Let's get this granite out of here before it gets, like, melted and then re-solidified and stuff. Um, I'll just crank up the priority on that and hopefully... Hopefully it'll actually get swept away. Today. There's no errand for it. I think we don't have a storage space for it. Who's getting scolded? Vivian is wearing a spacesuit and is getting scalded in 200 degrees steam. Also, why is there an eggshell in here? Anyway, must dash and do some packing before going away. Have a great stream. Thank you. And take care of yourself. Have a good wherever you're going. Um, oh. I think someone was behind Boovin with a spacesuit. Uh, so that's the second time recently that we've seen someone go in here without wearing a spacesuit. I, I don't know why. The Atmosuit checkpoint is enabled. It's pretty alarming, considering they could literally get themselves killed pretty damn quickly. Um, not a fan of that, to be honest. Yeah, not a fan. Maybe now that we've got steam that hovers around 200 degrees, I should crank this setting a little higher. Let's see. Uh, the metal refinery that makes steel is going to crank up its heat by 138.4 degrees. Um, 343.4 degrees. Uh, is still well short of accidentally turning it into petroleum. That should be fine. Okay. And that'll let the coolant crude oil here through much more quickly. Just using crude here because it has um, a high temperature range out of the fluids that are accessible to us early on. Alright, Boovim, no, Budgie Bum, is on the case. Finding out when this baby's going to erupt next. Should probably start building the next one. Um, I want to do that zigzag thing again. Let's see, ladder on this side. And get rid of these ones. Our airlock would go here and then this is confusing uh snake to the left okay so something like this Yeah, this is going to be our steam room, right? So we want the second airlock door 
at the level of the steam room. So probably like here. And... Like that. I think. Seems good. Oh, I paused it. How do we get pea water down here? Uh, I need something to store granite, which probably just means copy-pasting this, uh, sweep-only bin. Still got 13 dupes, fantastic. Wow, they didn't even get started. Rude. Let me get some water real quick. Okay. Uh, I guess we're waiting till morning before we build that. Analysis is mostly complete. 80 or 90 percent. Made a mess? Oh, you're stuck, aren't you? How did you manage this? Let me guess, you can't dig through here? How did you get... How did you get here? I... I'm so confused. At least you've got oxygen. And yeah, he's idle. Uh, do you have what you need to make some ladders? Make it out of sedimentary rock. You absolute buffoon. Now I gotta clear this pea water out. Uh, and it's gonna make polluted oxygen up here as well. Lovely. Good job. Like herding cats it is. Did we build these? We did. Copy settings. And now hopefully we can actually haul this away. I do not see anyone trying to haul it. Oh, there we go. And we got our analysis done. Next, dormancy 23.6 cycles. Next, eruption 4.1. Well, it could be worse. We'll get to see this thing working in 4.1 cycles. Cycle 338. Should at least be able to see it this straight. Wait, isn't it 10 minutes for a cycle? 28.84 divided by 16. Uh, wait, no. 28.84 times 60 divided by 334. 5.18? Is the cycle like 5 minutes? That sounds about right, actually. 
so we should see it before the stream finishes. Perfect. I hope my math is right there. How are our... Oh no. Why are you... Oh, you're starving. Uh, I don't like having starving pets. Let's do something about that. I need some polluted dirt. The Paco are obviously not making it fast enough. We also get polluted dirt when... Why is this empty? When we convert uh, polluted water to regular water. Why is this empty? Low threshold 20, green signal. High threshold 70, red signal. Not gate. When low enough, do not consume polluted water. Did I... Did I really make the loop bigger? Fast enough? To empty out the polluted water that we had in the reservoir? I guess that's possible. When do we get more pee water from up here? 32 cycles? Um... I think... Well, this is not what I was expecting. I didn't think the pee water would be able to go up here. That's very weird. Uh, maybe... Maybe we should add some... pee water back into the system. Which I can actually do by just connecting this here. Make it quick. This is obviously not going to be that much. Once that's done, we'll come down here and grab this. Or maybe I'll just put a pump here. I guess I could get started on that before we even go that far. Let's get a wire bridge across there. And then a ladder down here. And let that poor puffed prince out. Good grief. Um, and then we'll grab polluted water like so. Get some electricity. Throw that into the system. And even with a relatively small amount here, I don't think that'll take too long to saturate again. Cool, cool, cool. How much longer till it erupts? 3.1 cycles? Fantastic. One cycle is 600 seconds, 10 minutes. I don't want it to be 10 minutes. We've got 20 minutes left. Unless I stay extra. I kind of really do want to see this erupt today. I should stop pausing the game. Oh, wait, but we're on fast speed. Is it 600 seconds if we're on, like, slow speed or medium speed? If you run on times three, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Good old Tiberius. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I don't... Wow, it actually overflowed. I don't want to accidentally pick up regular water here. Are the dupes all okay? 
What did that say? Uh, fleeing? Oh, I know what that is. There's eggs here. So these two are cranky. And then Boobim's going to try and go back in immediately. Let's just shut the door. If they're going to be like that, they can just stay there. Of course, I should have set up something to take the eggs away automatically already. But now we've got angry Pintros in there. There's not much we can do about it for now. Nice doubling up on the paintings both times. It's fine. What are we printing? Uh, 100 kilos steel? Probably. I don't really want more dupes right now. Can't cook, that's fine. Uh, building, tidying, suit wearing. That's actually kind of good. Researching, farming. Oh, I, I think I'd still prefer the steel for now. We don't want to add more dupes yet. 2.6 cycles remain. There goes the last of our pea water there. We can salvage more of it by mopping it up as well. And I see we've got a non-zero amount of pea water in the liquid reservoir now. Which should imply by now that our coolant loop is saturated. Fantastic. Very nice. This whole fluid bus idea has been working out pretty well. It is a little tricky to spaghetti around it uh, sometimes, but compared to the usual spaghetti troubles, it's very easy. Uh-oh. Now it's confused. Hurry up and decon those, please. One more. There we go. And now it actually makes sense. Cool, cool, cool. What's this? Oh, that was from the old carbon skimmer. I don't know if we'll use that again. Why is there water in this pipe here? Or out of this pipe? I kind of like these better than the higher tier. Oh, you can tell it to get GTFO. Selected style. What? I'm not sure how that works. Yeah, I kind of like these uh, crude paintings a little bit better than the top tier ones that I've seen. Look at it, it's charming. Okay. Um, how long till this erupts? 1.7? I'm very excited. Alright, how about this build? Um, taking a shockingly long time to get done, actually. I'd really like to get this part done at least, so that 
we can queue it up the way it's supposed to be. Without dupes getting stuck. We can now make monument. It has to be made out of steel. 7,500 for the base. Jeebus. And obsidian, I guess. Another 5,000 steel for the middle. And plastic? Okay, this is a lot. I mean, I would expect nothing less, but still. Good job, Kevin. Just one more of these. It's all made out of ceramic. Fantastic. And then we can actually queue everything up the way we want to. Point two cycles remain. Oh, we don't have a storage for abyssalite, I guess. Uh, I think it's under miscellaneous. No, oh, we are asking for abyssalite here. They're just never getting around to it. Volpino, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just one more cycle. Good old Tiberius, thank you for the follow as well. What are these diagonal lines I can see here? In the background. Bit odd. Uh, we're gonna need... So this will be the vacuum room... And... Up here is gonna be a steam room... And up here is gonna be steam turbines. So we're gonna need access to those as well. Uh, and we're going to need a coolant loop for the steam turbines. And that's going to be a little bit of trouble. Maybe I'll borrow it from here instead of trying to pass it through all of this mess. Point six cycles. Did we get steam over here yet? Not even close. Probably 56 degrees. I'm rather confused about how it says the smart battery is flooded, but the smart battery seems to work. Not sure exactly how that works. So it's sending out not signal. What's its current percentage? It's definitely more than 50. Once it gets down to 30%, this thing stops. Uh, wait, yeah, 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 red signal when it's low. Did I get confused?
Green signal when charge is low. Red signal... It thinks it's still full. Okay, so that... That's actually something that's not working because of the flooding. Cool, cool, cool. I think there is a certain amount of water that needs to be present for battery to be flooded. Indeed. Why do we have a glossy Drecklet... Drecklet egg in here? Uh, well, we seem to have enough of them here anyway. But how did he... How did this even get here? Wait, did I not remove... Yeah, I did remove the old Drekkers from the list here. Um, we should really be cracking regular Drecklet eggs. And as for that glossy Drecklet egg, uh, I would definitely like it not to be hatched into a steam room. Not sure what that's about. So let's just bring it outside. Oh, here it is. Uh, I think I see the problem. Because we're in vacuum, we're outputting... The wrong signal, right? No, because we're cold. Hold on, hold on. When we're above 200, it's supposed to be green. So we stop letting the heat transfer. Oh, we did not miss much. It's only 700 degrees here now. Cool, cool, cool. So water should flash to steam, and it should reach its initial state where this actually works. Seven ninety, seven ninety-two. This thing's getting warmer a lot slower than expected by now. Almost eight hundred. And the water is surprisingly cool, still. Uh, maybe I put too much water in. I mean, it'll be fine sooner or later, but it is definitely taking longer than I would have imagined. Oh no, they still there's still that sandstone in there. It's probably fine. Probably. Uh, but yeah, we need this water to reach a hundred. It's taking its sweet time compared to what one might have expected. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Uh, okay, luckily we've got the Atmo suit set up. But one thing I completely forgot to set up uh, is the conduction panels so that these items here don't hook eventually. Um, I think I'll do it this way. And we'll just have the pea water come through like that. Um, and I have seen someone running experiments with duplicants sitting in magma with Atmo suits. It turns out... What? Are you not wearing an Atmo suit now? No, you're fine. Uh, it turns out they can ignore magma for, like, an entire day. So, no worries there. Sixty degrees. I think we're missing out, at least on- oh, wow. 
I wasn't expecting that all of a sudden. There it is. That was very sudden. Um, I was looking at 60 degree water over here, and then all of a sudden we've got steam everywhere. Uh, and yeah, here is I am Sark casually, what the hell? Insulated tile, why... What is damaged and why is it damaged? I think there's only insulated tile here. Is it pressure? Material must be delivered before this building can be repaired, but why is it damaged? How much water is here? Two... Two and a half tiles of what would normally be there. Uh, yeah, that's a problem. Damage from the flashing? Maybe. Pressure damage, there it is. Scalding. Oh, you are getting scalded. But I saw someone have a dupe sit in lava, like, literally all day. And not get scalded. That's weird. Why is there steam in... Oh, for f... <sighs> steam has come through the walls. And it is over 700 degrees. Uh, if there's one takeaway from the... Yep, yeah, now they're getting damaged. If there's one take, Even though I made these out of steel to be extra careful. If there's one takeaway I have from this, uh, it's that I should have put far less water in here to get started. Maybe we'll be okay once the rest of this, or most of it, flashes to steam. Um, we are going to need to get this superheated steam out of this room somehow. I don't know how we're going to do that. Considering that any pump that we build is going to immediately break. This is suboptimal. If I now if I let the polluted water through here, it's gonna flash to steam immediately. Uh... What a mess. What happens if this reaches max damage? How am I ever gonna fix this? Well, at least the pipes can apparently just sit here and chill. Did we stop getting insane pressure? Yeah, it looks like we did. Okay, so we're going to have to somehow pump out superheated steam. This steam is only 115 degrees. This steam is a lot hotter. It gets hotter the closer it gets to the magma. Maybe I could squeeze in a plastic pump here. Obviously, that's no good. Overheat temperature 75. And it would melt at only 160. Double line with insulated tiles any point of flashing, i.e. petroleum boiler. I don't think we really need double tiles here, it's just that if I had put far less water in at first, this wouldn't have been a problem. Oh hey, it's solidified. Um... I've never seen igneous rock looking like melting ice before. That's, uh, that's something. A 
But yeah, I don't know. It seems to be cooling down. Not by enough. I don't know, what's the solution? Just let the superheated steam burst out into the relatively frozen atmosphere out here? Oh, if they go and repair this, it's just going to get damaged again. Um... Save scum? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, the pipes are... The pieces of pipe are dropping. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't we have sandstone in here? Or did it all get turned into igneous or something? Maybe if it, if sandstone melts, it turns into igneous? Yeah, if it turns into magma and then solidifies again. We've converted sandstone, uh, sandstone to igneous rock here. Uh, I guess I could try and put in some cold stuff with lots of thermal mass. Hmm. It's not a lot of steam in here, it's just really, really hot. Like, less than two kilograms per tile. Hmm. What if I use those modded, uh, gas pumps? Overheats at 275. It's gonna conduct heat like crazy. Maybe vent it down to poker shell cavern. Mm. T but to actually build the pump that's going to pump the steam, uh, the pump is going to immediately break, even if it's made out of steel, is the problem. What if I put a bunch of ice in here? Also, when does this erupt again. 13.4 cycles. Just open the bottom? Maybe... And then I need to make this a vacuum again. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can't believe, like, it literally only had to last, like, a minute, you know, before all that, all of that water turned to steam. Uh, and then we wouldn't have had this trouble. But no, pressure crack. I wonder if... I don't suppose the ceramic could have taken more pressure. I doubt, I doubt it. Pump out a few tiles of air that will be left in the cavern. I could pump cold air in. Because we've got very little steam in here, right? Less than two kilograms? Uh, that's like oxygen levels of atmospheric pressure. 274 kilograms. Jesus, that is actually an, an insane amount of pressure. Just because you can go to a thousand kilograms of pressure for steam doesn't mean you necessarily should. Don't pump things in, that'll complicate things. Well, my thought is if I pump in cold gas... It just cools the room enough that we can then deal with it normally. Because we're going to have to pump all this gas out again anyway. Uh, it won't let me just build over this tile again, will it? No. Nope. 
I'll have to think about it. Well, partial success. Uh, the heat pump absolutely worked. Maybe a little too well at first. I wonder if if I'd had the exact same setup but controlled it manually with a uh, with a signal switch to start with. If I just let the heat through more slowly, I th think we still would have had the same problem, maybe. Because the water up here was 60 degrees when the water down here exploded into steam. Yeah, I don't think, like, feathering it or something like that would have helped here. Alright, well, uh, that's going to do it for this week, though. Let's see who else is streaming Oni for today. We've got Discount Engineer, always a good bet. I think we will go with Discount today. I think I'd deal with this with a coal temp shift plate to block the volcano. Oh, you can do that? The ice temp shift plates uh, to convert to warp them to pump water out. Thanks for the stream, thanks for hanging out, St uh, C Moogle, and everyone else as well. Alright, let's drop in on Discount Engineer today. I think I will pump colder gas into this room, just to get the temperature low enough that I could use a gas pump. Take care, evil plan. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. You know what? I might just save this as uh, something else. Just in case it is so severe that I end up deciding to... Maybe save scum just a little bit. I mean, I would never do that. Couldn't happen. Um, but yeah, take care, good old Tiberius. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. For Factorio, check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. Tomorrow we'll be continuing with Crastorio 2 plus Space Exploration, uh, wherein we just unlocked Energy Beaming. And now we're finally going to stop procrastinating bioscience. Actually get some of that vitamin lunch. Anyway, take care, guys.